Mercer? Yeah. It's still a black screen for me. I just tabbed out. Oh. <laughs> oh, one and all again. Welcome to another session of Saviors of Narsha. Sorry, I kind of took a bit longer to uh, get this one going. Many things have happened for for the most of the players, so we weren't able to really gather everyone. But we got we got most of them right now. So, without further ado, without much more delay, the heroes awaken once more with birds singing and music playing. And, uh, as well as with that, uh, all the players arise. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Did everyone sleep well? Not bad. But Slept all right. It seems the big one is uh, still out, so uh, perhaps let the big one sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm <clears throat> I'm trying not gonna try to wake her up. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, as, you all, what, as you all, as you all are starting to wake up. You do start to kind of feel a mystical pull towards uh, a certain oh, God. bottle. Uh oh. Is it the bottle on the table? Yes, as a. Uh, try clicking on it. Why do my eyes feel very fixated on this bottle? Uh, mine too. Uh, if I'm correct, and hopefully, does it work? Yeah, if you if you just uh, left click cool. on it. Yep. Uh. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh, can't can't bring in uh the other one since their PC is currently dead. But as you open your eyes once again after being fixated on the bottle, you're brought to a strange instance. Uh -oh. Okay, who laced the bottle with drugs? What is this? Mm, I'm not think they were I don't think they were laced with drugs so much as magic. Uh oh, whoa. That that felt interesting. And uh, uh are y'all able to see the uh the plates above? Yeah. Oh. Yep, the the little speak thingies, yeah. Oh. Status alive. Okay. Lumber. Oh wait. Lumber. So in game, are we able to read these? Like. Uh yes. To... You are able to see them. Okay. Uh, that, that, is, uh, that is the point. Okay. We're missing two. Uh oh. Hello, Raiders. How's it going? Yep. That's Vincent. Thank you for the follow. Uh, but it says status alive, so I'm assuming this is. I don't know, some sort of... Yes, yeah, so as you're looking at the crystals one by one, you are unsure what they could truly mean, but I guess it's a good indication. Is there oh. anything I can see inside the crystal, or is it, like, not at all transparent? Uh, would you like to roll a perceptive, uh, perception? <clears throat> I would. I'll take a look. Uh, let me look. Uh, pull this out. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Yep. Uh, hello, uh, everyone. Is uh, uh, this is it's one of many possible. sessions I've been running so far of a campaign of mine called Saviors of Inertia. Yep. Where, uh, 11. <clears throat> where uh, it's a little fun campaign that I've been doing with most of everyone. This I is forgot. also Where's a reboot. the bonus? Uh, bonuses you would find on your sheet in the Discord, and then you would uh, just roll a d20 here. Perception is wisdom, so whatever your wisdom modifier is. Uh, on 
on their sheet, they do have uh, stuff that gives benefit towards perception as well. I get a uh, bonus. Plus uh, two. Ooh, oh, well, there you go. Yep, so we'll roll a d20. Okay. Uh, cats, even though you're not in this instance, do you also want to roll? Yeah, I can roll. And my bad luck holds. Oh, shit. I got a nat 20. All right. So, first off, Olivara, you look through your crystal, and you aren't able to see anything too apparent besides from just a image of you. Hendrix, uh, through your crystal, you can see that, uh, that you seem to be up and about. It seems to currently be replaying the instance of you waking up. As for uh, cats, you look through your crystal, and you see the same instance of you looking into the crystal, looking into the crystal, looking into the crystal, looking into the crystal. He's looking into the void. <laughs> Huh. Interesting. This hurts my brain. Showing what we're doing or supposed oh, okay. to Okay. So could I roll I mean if you want me to roll again, but um I just wanna look at another one of the crystals and see if I can perceive what's happening in someone other than my own. Uh choose whichever one and just roll. I'll, I'll do a mouse sphere right in front of me here, and I will roll again. Uh, yep. 13. So, so 14. 14. Uh, and then, yeah, 14. <clears throat> All right. So, you can, uh, as you look through mouse uh, sphere's crystal, you see him peacefully sleeping in his bed, kind of tossing and turning from time to time. You, you... So, right where we left him. Yeah, seems so. So then, who are these two? Do you wish to try Whoa. and perceive through? Yeah. Uh, we'll try to take a look. And I'll, I'll look through this one as well. Fifteen. Fourteen. All right. So, with you, Hendrix, as you look through this crystal, you aren't able to get a fixation on who this is, but you can at least tell that this person, they seem to be a human. They don't have any distinct features for some reason. Like, am I seeing like a third person perspective or first person perspective? Uh, it is a third person. You can okay. see, you can see that they are a human, but for some reason they're, I, uh, they're discoverable features are not there. You cannot see a face, you cannot see any sort of additional markings or whatnot, only that they are a human of some sort. So what I can't see that? if he has hair or I can't see, like, the color of his clothing, none of that? Sadly not. Okay. And which, as uh, all of our, as you look through this crystal, mm -hmm. you try to look through it and you don't seem to be getting anything until you start to see bright orange eyes peer through and look look almost directly into your your vision. Okay. As if they are looking back. Wave. <sighs> this I have is no so very confusing. And well, then, and in that instance of you waving back, you feel you feel a jolt of pain. I'm not entirely sure I understand what's happening. Um, like, I I see into my crystal, and it's like replaying when I woke up. But it's like on stuck on like a replay. Uh, you. you I, look I look back. at the big guys, <clears throat> and I see like he's just sleeping where we left him. Like it's like recording him or something. Okay, so we're seeing three different colors. 
Three different colors. Three of us are awake. We've got three greens. All of us are green. All of our stones are green. We know Malsevere is asleep, so that means Jack's still asleep too. Okay. So these guys are the only ones we're not sure of. So this one appears to be some human figure. Can't really get much detail about him. Just other than he looks human. Uh, orange it. eyes. Kind of orange th eyes? And the one that I looked in. Hmm. So he, you couldn't even like get the Mac of some sort. Hmm. Well, that one actually sounds a little more disturbing than this one. But... It could be just a... a form of self-defense. Yeah, if do they're much out of speculating, it. Though. I mean, if they're yeah. out of it, and this is just an indication that they are, and we're poking into their brains, yeah, I would expect a smack back, wouldn't you? I'm or taking a look around the over rest back. of the room. Yeah, what's this I... thing here? Uh, so with Hendrix, you look around and you see that there are, uh, with you, you're able to see that there are, seem to be multiple markers. They don't seem to lead to anywhere, at least to your knowledge. As where Olivar stands, you see that there are items typically standing in front of markers. Which, uh, if you click on said markers, uh, the red ones, they do have some information. Fallen Sparrow Tavern. So all these blue markers that are surrounding like the, the south end here, like, there's no distinct markers around any of them? No. Okay. They haven't been activated yet, maybe? What else? This is... I mean, this... I don't know what to call this place, some sort of portal world, but what's going no, on here? No, this looks like... Wait, is this the bottle that we used to get here? It does... And it's near the cavern. It does... The cavern. It does seem like the same bottle, though it seems to have a different type of aura around it. And as of the two areas, which one of uh, the three do you wish to go for? Well, the three of you, where do you wish to go? The one with the bottle or the lantern? Bottle, I'm back, mm. back to the tavern. We can try it. Mm. This looks, first off, extraordinarily deliberate. Second off, Seeing any doors? Are there any writings or inscriptions anywhere around the these two that are active? Uh, are you able to click the red marker? Okay. One says Larnwick. One says Kai. The memory drags you to this location. Well, I'm curious as to where the lantern would take us. Well, if we are going to do this, uh, I'd say, yeah, well, let's go for the lantern. So you wish to go through the lantern? Yep. yep. Then, as you put your hands close to the lantern, you feel a whimsical effect happen across you, leading you to the outside. Oh. We've been That's here a, before, haven't such we? Such a weird feeling. I know you guys are. Oh. Uh, jeez. What a knee. I, um, uh, need to fix something. 
Uh, whoops. Not that. You, you dropped your sword by accident? Yes. <laughs> Didn't even move it? Uh, yeah, that would be, that would be a nice place, thank you. Alright, go, go to the open screen. Uh, okay. Uh... You should be able to just get closer mm -hmm. and then pick it up. There we go. Now I can pick it up. Thank you. Uh, All right. Thinking communications, maybe? Definitely travel. So, how was your guys' night then? Wait, how? Night was fine. This morning's been interesting so far. Yeah, certainly interesting to say the least. Um, what time of day is it actually right now? Uh, to your estimation, it would be roughly mid morning. And I'm sorry, refresh my memory. What time was it when we left? Uh, mid for when you were for when you went to sleep was late at night. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm losing track of stuff. Never mind. All right. Um, I'm be I am betting there is a lantern around here that'll take us back. A lantern to take I... you back. I'm betting. Did you not see how we came in here? You guys just came out of the inn. Okay, probably in. Um, that's. Let's see if we can find. Sure. Um. W listen, we'll be right back, <clears throat> and I'm, he's going into the end. <laughs> okay. What the? Fuck? How do we get back here? <laughs> yep. As you go through the end again, and you end up here. I gotta try something. Okay. So want... evidently the. Holy shit! So... What is going on? So I will also say, I am still working on the kinks of it, because it requires a lot of fucking portals. So keep in mind. <laughs> I know, I, I'm, I'm just playing into it. I'm, I'm just I know. playing into it. <laughs> it requires a lot of portals, and it hurts my brain. It's fine, so, I, I'm just ad-libbing. So for for the time being, you would have to go through the bottle one, and then head back into the, the end to go to your actual room. Okay. So, my bet is the bottle's back. That'll take us back to the end. Um, Kai. The, the end in Kai. Yeah, so... This is... I'm not getting a, you know, oh my dear lord, oh, you know, oh my goddess, this is, like, absolutely horrible. I'm getting... This is useful. I don't know who set this up. Is there oh, anything no, remarkable about this compass never. on the floor that's kind of, like, shimmering? Uh... It's where you were summoned. It's where you were first summoned here for. Okay, so it's just like a summoning circle that we like kind of came in on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious if there's any like thing, is there anything else remarkable about it? Okay. Uh, Ashley, do you wish to roll an Arcana? I will roll Arcana. Uh, let me see what that would. That's f okay. That's just a straight not a D twenty. So, uh, here we go. Fifteen. <clears throat> okay. So, with this compass like sigil, you don't get much of a connection towards it, but probably because you're not of the same affinity. But you can at least tell that this sigil is quite old, but at the same time, still powerful to be able to summon you here. Well, wherever this place is, it's heavily imbued with magic. This stuff is old. It's much older than, I think, either of us. Oh. Well, first off, we don't really know that because we don't remember when we're from. I mean... I mean, oh, I remember... Long ago. They said that it was legend, so... 
I mean, I remember how long ago that was for us, but I can tell you, I look at this, and I just, I can feel something ancient about it. It, this also talks, it speaks to me about th this type of thing is more utility. It's, don't get me wrong, this is a hell of a lot of magic, but this is not, like, I'm going to show you how much magic I have. Or I'm going to do massive mischief with this magic. This is magic to get stuff done. What? Well, Travel yeah. communication, I would think, more than anything else. Because well, the only thing we can really, I think we really can learn from here is what these two are, and really, there's not much to go off of. Unfortunately, I don't have enough magic. Eh, neither do I. I don't really have anything to help us out with this. Wait, isn't Perhaps. what's his name a magician or a mage? Do you think we might be able to pull him through? I and I have no wonder. idea because no, he doesn't have any. Uh, uh, he doesn't have a pillar. He may not be able to. Mm. Yeah, he, you know what? He may be onto something there. The other two... We're assuming this was set up by an ally at one point in time. They're going to want to protect it. And if it was set up by an enemy, they wouldn't have let us through. <clears throat> and you got the magic to pull this off. I, I, I'm pretty sure you can lock it down. So I guess the only real question is then um, is to... What and why? I guess that's really two questions, but... Well, there's... The basic why would probably be to be helpful, but exactly how it's supposed to be, that I couldn't tell you. I mean, other than coming in here, you can tell at a glance who's alive and who's, you know, who might be in trouble. These two might not have come back. That could have been. That could be why the uh, their pillars aren't active. Or maybe they came back and they're dead. Well, I wouldn't think this one is dead anyway. I mean, I can at least see a silhouette of his figure. Maybe he's at least in trouble. Something. Maybe. Maybe they're in trouble? Maybe. Maybe too far oh, away know. for whatever this is. I mean, it, it could be a multitude of things. True. We don't know what the uh, range on this could be. I mean, they could be mm -hmm. on, the side of, on the other side of the realm. Uh, it, or maybe you're right. Maybe they just haven't come here. Maybe they haven't made a connection. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. We need to talk to someone who's a little more experienced with this sort of stuff. Well. I feel like we could ask the town mage, but frankly, I think he is going to be as dumbfounded as we are as we try to describe this room to him. No doubt. And to be perfectly honest, even though logically speaking, okay, presuming this this room was made for our benefit, which I don't really see anything to say that it wasn't, we still don't know how to work it. So even if there's some way we can actually let somebody who's not who doesn't have a pillar in, we don't know how to do that. And short of risking their life for an experiment, I don't see how we can find that out just yet. Not too comfortable with that idea. Does that make sense? Oh, I, I follow you. I'm just trying to... Well... What are we going to do with it now that we know? 
That's that's certainly one aspect of it. There, as I said, there's many questions about this place. Like, part of finding out how long it takes to travel between one area to the next, or from one town to the next via this method. I'm not so, sure what else to do. I guess we go touch the bottle and find out. I think it's worth a shot. We've only been I here will... what, five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, I yeah, will man. follow. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna touch the the bottle. <clears throat> As you touch the bottle, oh, and we're in the tavern. Or I will be as soon as I load. Wow, so the was this transition like did we just like drop in? Uh you uh you seemingly just exit through the uh the door. I look back at the door. Does it look like there's a portal through there or is it just a regular door? <laughs> And then Benny, it looks seems, like a regular door. Seems like a normal door that you came in from your end, uh, your in-room. What time is it? Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, barmaid. Uh, yeah? do you happen to know the time? It should be, it should be rising suns right now. Okay, Summer? So, no real change in time. It seems... Well, oh, no, didn't we leave mid-morning in the other place? Oh, well, yeah. Rising Sun is mid-morning. Oh, okay. So then, yeah. Instantaneous travel. How far is Linux from here? Uh, Longwood. Uh, it would have been, uh, on foot. About a week's travel. Uh-huh. So a week's travel instantaneous. I mean we could have maybe jumped like a time zone, maybe two. Realistically. Not really. If you're talking a week's travel um by foot. I think the average person walks about like maybe 25, 30 miles a day. You're talking about maybe 200 miles. I mean, so depending on where we'd be at at the start of the time zone, I mean, yeah, we'd probably cross over into one. So, I mean, yeah, that sort of makes sense. Y'all all right? Yep. Uh, y yeah, just a little, uh, a little hazy still, kind of waking up. Huh. Uh, you, need, you need anything to munch on? Oh, yes, I'd like some breakfast. And do you have any black tea, please? Oh, uh, sure do. Give me a sec. So, we know about this place but there you go thank you put a copper on the table i guess what are we really doing with this well my thinking is that it's going to be extraordinarily useful for um uh tracking down problems like say attacks Attacks on us? No, on the towns. I'm here with them, right? Yes, I just can't drag your character. Um. Okay. <clears throat> I say we go back and touch the lantern again and check to see what the other town has to offer. Uh, as you. Uh, you guys did touch the other lantern, and it led you to the town you just recently came about. Yeah, it was the first town we, we were at. <clears throat> uh. Yeah. 
yes, uh, to your guys' discovery so far, the items seem to be leading you towards memories that you've had of the town you have you have come across. Towns oh, we've been in, people we've made connections with, um, mm -hmm. especially people that we might, uh, you know, need to protect. Don't forget that Kai was under attack um, when we first arrived on the scene. My bad is that room uh, might have served at one point in time like, a, I don't know, like a hub? Between the different er between different areas, different towns? <clears throat> well, it sort of starts to make sense when you think about it that way. I mean... We were at war. <clears throat> only, we've only been two places and there's only two portals open. And yet there are many waypoints that are yet to be unlocked. Right. Well, if we when we died, we were at war. We don't know how long we've been fighting that war with for, or how many places were involved in said war, do we? There's a lot we don't know about all that yet. We don't fight a war alone, not no. like a small group. So it would make sense. I'm betting somebody set that up as a hub of communication and travel for, um, well the cause, for want of a better term? I could be wrong. I mean, as I said, a lot of what we're doing right now is simply speculation, which until we really know more is... any idea is really a good idea at the moment. Or it could be, you know, this is a trap that some, you know, extraordinarily elaborate trap that somebody laid out as, like, oh, here, a useful thing to use, and then we wind up in trouble for it later on. Either way. Well, I, I still do find it a little unsettling of the crystals of us in whatever that is. I think it would be extraordinarily useful, though. I mean, if we wind up separated in different towns during, like, say, an attack, for example, all anybody would have to do is go to that one room, take a look, and go, oh, yeah, they're fine. Or, oh, dear lord, they're in trouble. Look, good, good gods, get over there now. Well, if, uh, if the crystal I was looking at wasn't seemingly stuck on rewind for me, I would somewhat find it invasion of privacy. True. Not jazzing on the idea of, like, if I ever, you know, Encountered a male elf that I like, for example. Anybody looking in on that? But I, I don't tend to like to uh, show and tell. So uh, Crystal seems a little invasive. Not gonna lie. Well, maybe there's ways that you can protect yourself from it. Maybe that's what I felt when I checked out the one with the orange eyes. Was it was a no? Leave me alone. Be my privacy, go away. I feel like that might have been the most unsettling of all of them. The glowing orange eyes. <clears throat> That's all you yeah. see where I I see silhouette of human. Yeah, but I, I feel like the orange eyes might be the most ominous of the bunch. Yeah, but Mesophere doesn't really look super happy either if you're going by appearance. But he's I mean that's just his natural look, though. You can't blame him for that. That could be the same with guy in the crystal. We don't it, know. Or person uh, in the crystal. What, what's the human expression? Uh, resting bitch face. He, right. He's, he, I mean, he's got, like, he's got like the dragon equivalent of that, right? I mean, like, you, you can't really tell if he's happy or if he's angry. I mean, you yeah, might be able to tell if he's angry. True. Like, he's probably going to throw something at you. But, I mean, you, you get the picture. I do, I do, but my point is, is that Mesopir's not the only person on the face, you know, in, in all of the realms that, you know, looks scary, but... But I'm pretty sure he wouldn't feel comfortable either, knowing Crystal is watching him sleep. Probably not. Which is why we need to figure out who still has ac who has access to those things, and how did we get access to those things? I mean, and he literally just woke matter? up and the bottle was uh, on the dress. Was it even there before? I, I genuinely don't remember. 
I don't remember either, but then again, it was... I... I just... It, it seemed like it was there, and then... I don't... I don't know. I can't remember it being there before. Me either, to be... For that matter, but then again, <sighs> I never really the table. And the only other time we've ever come in was, like, you know, we were exhausted after a day of, you know, adventuring, so... Yeah, it's just, I'm not really even thinking of a drink. I just want to lay in the bed and sleep. Well, usually we've come in, we've eaten, and then we've trooped up to go pass out. So, yeah, I haven't really had a reason to look at the table. They could have been there the whole time. I don't know. Can I search my memory, uh, uh, Mercer? So we want you to do a history check, then. Go ahead. Yep. See if I can remember them ever being there. Is that a perception roll as well? Uh, history is different. Okay. Uh, history <laughs> is intelligence. Uh, I'll, I'll roll two just to see if my memory jogs anything. Nineteen! <clears throat> Alright, so with you, Olivara, you don't quite remember, although most of the times that you probably would have, you were, you were drowsy at the time. So you, right. so you don't quite know. With you, Hendrix, uh, you didn't really know. You didn't notice it at first, though. Eventually, you start to like have a hazy feeling that there was something there. I but you probably just didn't see it at the time. Like as if it just kind of just appeared out of nowhere. So it's not like that kind of thing where like I think there was something there but there wasn't something there and now there is something there like like I I kind of had a feeling there was something there but I didn't like see it. It was it's kind of like something was not letting you see it until now. Hmm. So basically the impression that it's always been there, but it was hiding. It was like hidden behind like a magical haze <clears throat> until we like did something to reveal it. Yeah, it was basically pulling the, you don't to, see me. To get the mm -hmm. picture, yes. Well, come to think of it, I do feel like there was something there. I suppose it doesn't really matter. We we found it, it's there, but I guess the question oh. is where where's all the other ones go to? Oh, it matters. We just don't know what the answers are. I, I well I I wrong wrong choice of words. It, it's not that it does not matter, it's just in the moment it is not relevant information. Right. We we could track that down later. The more important thing is, is can this, you know, is this a problem or going to be a problem in the near future? Or is this yes. truly an actual bonus or a, something yes, we can yes, use? Exactly. Um, My bet is it's probably a boon of some variety. That's my bet, because it just seems to me like if it was like some sort of elaborate prop of some kind, it would be more enticing. Less prone to being, uh, less prone to showing up to us in a questionable manner. Does that make sense? Well, we've only, <clears throat> we've only seen two instances so far, so. And the first two seemed rather inconspicuous. Uh, perhaps the others may also be, but uh, they may also not be. I'm not entirely sure yet. Oh well, yeah, we've only got two. Two's not even a pattern yet. Two's, two could be a coincidence. Exactly. Need three for a pattern. Mm-hmm. I mean, so far they've been simple objects, so I guess we could be on the lookout for them, but... Uh, 
Unless we feel that calling sensation again, it's frankly a needle in a haystack. Unfortunately. So let's just assume then for the moment that we're just going to come across them. And just try to keep our eyes out for them. Exactly. If we find more, we'll be able to get information together. I mean, for the moment, there isn't much else we can do about it. There isn't anything we can garner from those, the two darker crystals outside of what we've already seen. And there's only two portals open. So it's really just back and forth from where we came. Right, in the meantime, I'm not so sure anybody can Because if that... If those bottles have been there for a while, then... You know, the people who take care of the room, why didn't they pick them? Why didn't they touch them? My bad, they can't see them either. You know, you may be onto something there. Maybe we are the we only ones who actually see them. Well, we didn't see them first. We can well, ask. Yeah, not at first. So, yeah, but... <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Maybe we did something to trigger it. Well, since we're the ones that are in the room, I'm assuming that we're, we might very well be the only ones who could try. Outside of the person who set the place up. Which could have been any of us. We'd have no idea. Well, uh, ideas are great and all, but we need to find facts. So what can we do to find the facts? Get somebody into the room, ask them if they can see the bottles. Ask them if they can see anything on the table. Well, uh, sounds like a uh, good enough place to start as any. Uh, let's go. And uh, if you wish to go to the portal room again, uh, click on the pot that's uh, to your left. Okay. Well, no, actually, you were going to go up into the tavern. Oh, that's right. They can't even get into the tavern room. Yeah. Uh, if you want to go back to the portal room, uh, click on the pot to your left. Uh, yeah. our... the, the glowing pot. Oh wait, I thought we were going to the end. <laughs> well no, you can you can go to uh the portal room via the pot that's in the tavern. That was like a okay. quicker way. That's okay. I thought we were going to the end, because it occurs to me nobody can get into the room in the end. So it occurs to me nobody can even get into that room, remember? Uh Yeah, it does seem to be a problem. Well, what about the in in Linux? Uh, what's his name? Is on the outside, uh, standing outside of it, right? Oh yeah, I did actually tell him we would be right back. I wonder if he's still waiting. Uh, Hend yeah. Uh, sure. Let's check it out. Lauren White. That's it. Lauren White. So, oh my, he, ju he just took 10 damage. No, I, I forgot to heal him because of the long rest. <laughs> okay. Oh. I just saw a 10 come up like, oh no, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do damage upon my appearance. <laughs> hey, Maxwell. Yeah. So did you stay at the inn last night? Mm, yeah. Oh. I was in my own room. Okay. So, oh, okay, wait. So you guys are right. You don't remember much, do you? Remember much of what? Didn't you guys say that you guys had amnesia? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. So, with the inns, they have their own kind of special magic. So it's it's to kind of give people privacy in a sense, because you know, instance instances of people breaking into inns when adventurers are just wanting to lay about, and then some rookie thief tries to steal you know your valuables. Right. So okay. so someone in the very far past set of magic that's continuous to my knowledge 
and which allows people to have singular instances of their lodgings in which the only way to allow someone in is if you allow them. If that gives okay, you he's just sense. looking at, at Maxwell just blankly confused. Okay, so, like, so these rooms, these are just normal in rooms? This inn has, is like a, a massive hub of like these little pocket dimensions that you can go in and have ultimate privacy? Yeah, the person that made the magic <clears throat> had an incident, I guess. And uh, it's drive them. It's drive them enough to do this. Don't exactly remember the guy's I'm name. I'm almost curious to ask, but do you know the story of this incident you're referring to? It's not really. It's been centuries since it's happened. I mean, the guy must have been a, clearly a freak, right? Like he needed to create his own pocket dimension to have privacy. Or very. Uh... Vengeful. That's the right wording. To the point of, if he can't have privacy, then he'll give everyone privacy. And so, he I... made this magic. No one really knows how it works, but so far it hasn't caused any harm. And so the rooms are all interconnected? I mean, so it's all the same room in all of the inns? More or less. You still have to pay to access the inn. But as soon as you've paid, you have access to the room in that area. So wait, everyone in town then has access to this little pocket dimension? Yeah. It's, it's to fit the person's, you know, lodging. People can still have oh. their own houses. It's This is primarily for adventurers. Or those that don't exactly have hey, the well, money if, to if make a, don't mind to asking, have a house. Then why don't, but then why don't people use the crystals to travel between towns? Crystals? You know what? Never mind. Uh... I thought I saw something that was weirdly shaped inside the building, but never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, typically if you wish for someone to access, to have access to your room temporarily, you need to invite them in. And, in, and depending on your party size, it needs to be majority vote. Owen. Two people are not enough. <laughs> what do you mean? I see three. I mean, as I said, I think oh, this, this oh, wizard right. guy who made this guy was who made this was clearly a freak. Um. So I vote that we invite him to the room to take a look at the table. You guys. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I have no objection. Okay. So, Maxwell, would you? Care to come to our room to take a look at? Sure. Okay. I promise you, it's nothing free. How much? Y'all go inside. And he's not in here. He's not in here, is he? Well, I thought we had to get him into, like, our lodging room and then lead him to the bottle. Right, but there was no way to go into the actual inn itself. Again, so... portal issues. I have to yeah, figure that out. <laughs> that's why I was like, I, I know that was a bit of an issue for Mercer, so I don't know if that was... It's not intentional. I can say that much. It's not yeah. intentional. Okay, so we're just going to yeah, go I, I, through I, I, Kai's, Kai's inn to get into our room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're just going to we're gonna do it this way. <laughs> Again, it was not it's okay. not intentional. I just can't figure it out. Okay, yeah. so no, we go no. through the we go through the door to get to the room. And I ask him, Alright, question. 
other than the candle bra, is there anything that you see on this table? Mm, no. It's just a kit. It's just candles. But I can definitely say your room is definitely uh, empty. Miss, well, you, empty? You're, you are a magically inclined person, yes? Well, I would say so, yeah. Do you detect anything outside of the, like, besides the portal, do you detect anything else in this room? Uh, he'll go ahead and quickly check. No, I don't sense anything. Hmm. All right, well... So, I mean, besides from that entity over there, and then the portal, that's about it. Entity? He points towards the banana. Oh. Uh... Eh, pay that thing, no mind. Eh... Okay, well, you've answered our questions, then. Um, I think that's that's all we really have for you. Thank you, um, Maxwell. Thank you for your help. Sure. Weird, but okay. Yeah, I know, I know, sorry. I knew it. <laughs> I find so it interesting. He can't even detect it. It's doubly hidden. It's not only hidden in our portal room. It's invisible to anybody who's not us. <sighs> I think that's your privacy, Hendrix. Yeah, well, I'm starting to wonder a lot more about who's the one who set this up. So am I. So am I, because either we need to thank them or um, they're going to try and kill us. And if they've got this kind of power, I'm not sure I'm happy with option. Considering the amount of power it would take to create all this, it's just... And given how old it is, so whoever made this might be even more powerful now. I mean, even as an undead, it would be a nightmare to deal with. So this is either really super happy or holy crap, we're in trouble. Well, frankly, I'm not even sure how we're going to tell which is which. I mean, where do we even go with this? I am not sure. I I guess I don't know. Use it until op uh, until and unless option two shows up. I mean, because I don't know what else we could do. We uh, we either ignore it or we put it to use. Well, I will not say we ignore it, but at the moment. The only thing I'm really more concerned about is trying to figure out a little bit more about who we were. I would do like... If I might be candid with you, I do... feel like this entire situation is... What's the word for it? Fucked up? Yes, that. Um, the fact that we just saw that guy just die in front of us as we were risen, we have no memory of who we are, we frankly were supposed to be heroes of some kind, yet we don't know anything about who we were or what we were capable of. And if we're supposed to be the heroes again, doesn't it kind of work to our benefit to try to learn more about who we were. Oh, I agree. As as I you agree. are you discussing amongst each, each other, 
you start to hear a creak from one of the beds. I look over to see who's awake. He's moving. Oh, oh, big guy. Miles of well, About time you woke up. Greetings. You sleep like a log. Uh, tell me, uh, do you see object on, on the table that is not the candles? I see three bubbles. Yeah, um, you should go ahead and touch those real quick. Do you wish to do what they say? Nothing ventured, nothing gained! As you perk the bottles. As you touch the bottles, go ahead and go to the instance. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, just click on it, and it should drag you to a new area. Which, uh, don't mind this, I'm, I am quickly need to do something. Cause I, I now have to do this on the fly. <laughs> Sorry. So, cat, tap mine, Alivara, me, Jack, you, Hendrix, and we don't know who. Oh, so the crystal does correspond to whether you were awake. Or some other status, because these two are, you know, black. I was more referring to Mouse Severe's. Uh, when I looked at his last time, it was different color. Now it is color like mine. Yes, so as you touch the bottle, Mouse Severe, you are now inside this strange room with crystals and markers around. So... To give backstory, uh, we kind of woke up first, and uh, she pointed out a bottle, and so we touched the bottle, and uh, we kind of show up here, and uh, there is a portal on the other end of the room that takes us to the place we were at before. Intriguing. I hope that answers all of your questions. Thank you. Looks like a way for it. I sort of yeah. assume that would be the case. My phone's about to die. I'm unfortunately probably going to have to call it night here. Okay. Okay. Sorry, we weren't able to do much. No, it's fine. Um. I'll try to be here for the next session. Okay. All right. See y'all. See you, Shana. Catch you later. Hey. So, have you named this place or? Uh, named it? Uh, we we literally just found it like maybe fifteen minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, if you want to name it, uh, by all means, you can call it whatever you want. I don't care. This place is just confusing because I see crystal of me. Uh, is it still in? Is it still rewinding of me waking up, or is it hasn't you, changed since I last? Do you wish to look through it? Yes. All right, you don't need to re-roll this time since. Oh. Uh, oh, it's okay. going to be an eleven again. You don't have <laughs> again. to re-roll. It's an eleven but... again. <laughs> But you do start to see. I'm going the to point, assist. You do see the. Po you do see the point of you coming. Uh, you do see the point of you coming into the area again, with the with the three of you. But is it like stuck in that loop again, like where it's like rewinding and uh, like going? No, it's actually it's actually quite closer uh, to the point of. Uh, contact what are you doing my friend okay this thing is just confusing me and frankly it's starting to scare me first time i look through this thing it's like on a loop of watching me wake up it it, it just confused me 
And now it's I look at this thing. crystal pervert. Uh, that, you know, you see, you're, you're thinking the way I was thinking. Like, this is massive invasion of privacy. Do you, like, Nasri, do you wish to see the, the crystal? I will look through the crystal. Do you wish to look through yours or through Hendrix? I will look through mine. Roll a d20. 17. All right. So same thing when cats first look through theirs is that you you kind of slouch down to look uh, look at your crystal and you see you slouch down looking through the crystal, looking through the crystal, looking through the crystal. This thing is showing my current actions. Is mine like somewhat lagging? I don't understand. I I think your uh, crystal is uh chronologically challenged do you wish to give it a tap <laughs> do you want to see it if could it, if be it gets the better user reception? needs more I, wa I want to tap his crystal to see if i can fix it or it could be you the user just break my crystal and i, I, I die wanna I, I want to tap where do you roll roll for tapping do not break my crystal 19. all right you you give it a firm slap, and which you you see the the crystal move slightly, and then you feel a jolt of energy pulse through you. You see the blood drain from Hendrix's face as you do this. You you take a total of twenty damage. Are you motherfucker? <laughs> Not you, Hendrix. Malsevier. She's the one who slapped it. Oh, okay, okay. But like, at the did same, you just slap me for twenty. At the same time, you're still looking at the crystal, and as he did slap it, it sinks up to the point of when he just slapped it. Did I fix it? Cause that hurt. I'm gonna check mine again on the on the on the assumption that it might be the user that needs to uh, be better practiced. I'm gonna keep trying. Look, uh, you look through. You. Yep. No, I hate dice. I hate dice. I hate RNG. RNG freaking. Oh, uh, is it, was that meant to be a modifier with the roll? Yeah. Yeah. So she she only got an eight. <laughs> what modifier was I meant to be rolling? Uh, you didn't really. Uh, it was a. Actually, I didn't have. A, it was perception. With perception. Was. Yeah. So I get two for um wisdom and two for um. Uh, I'm not putting that in the dice roller. I'm just counting it off of my sheet. Yeah, it's fair. I do it be simply because it reminds me that I have a modifier. That yeah, I, yeah, I would I, say... The first couple of times I rolled, I didn't add it correctly. I was going to say, you, you, you didn't have to roll as it would have uh, synced up to, to the point of when you were looking into the crystal. But I didn't see it anyway because, obviously, well, yeah, it, last time I only showed your image. This time it's actually showing present. Huh. And which, as you're all kind of focused on the crystals, you do realize one of them changed again. Which one? Oh. Cats, back in. As you see, uh, as you look into their crystal, you see them lying in their bed. I don't like this feeling of voyeurism. Um, I don't, like I don't think sleep. this. Okay, I don't think this is meant to be voyeurism. I think if used properly, this is meant to be maybe communication. I mean, we can try it and see. Do I touch Bolton to go back? You can attempt to talk to me through my crystal. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I, I guess, like, like because who are, who are we communicating to from here? Malsevere, he's going to go into uh, go into the room, um, and we're going to try to communicate to the through to him through the crystal, because at the very least, the colors of the crystal indicate how whether or not somebody's awake or asleep. It might also indicate whether or not they are in grievously mortally wounded. That would be something we would definitely want to know at a glance, don't you think? Uh, I do look Hendrix through... is going to go knock on the crystal, just... I'm hey. going to look... 
You look through. Hey, can you hear it? I'm going to look through and try to talk to him. You you do see Malsevier in your in your in room, but you do not hear any sort of audio. You only see okay, the, no the audio. imagery. So oh, okay. I'm probably in the in room, and I can't go into the in room. He can't hear anything that we're doing? Uh, you. We don't know. I'm, I'm no, like, I, I'm, I'm knocking on the crystal, and I'm like calling out to Malsevier. I uh, should be able to go into the in room. You just need to click on that. No, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm oh, but I go into the in room and find out whether or not he's. You should be able to just. He can hear us. Click on him. Uh... Oh, um, uh, if you click on the portal itself, it just tells you Kai, and if you click on the bottles, you go to this tavern. Well, I can't go into the in room. No. Oh. Uh... Okay, hold on, that's a bit strange. Uh, again, portals is is a new thing. Oh, it's working for me. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me do this. That'll teleport everyone there. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, one will bring me into the room. Could you hear us? Well, I, I don't know. I simply, we'll just simply say that you were in the in room when they were in the realm, but you weren't able to yeah. hear anything. Uh, did you do it? Yep. But uh, we couldn't I, hear anything. I was knocking on the crystal and everything. We I were didn't hear jerk. anything. Okay, so it's status, but that's still enough to know if somebody's in trouble. Still feels like voyeurism. They're just watching. It's not communicating. Okay, true enough. But it's at least a month. Let, let's just us. Let's make an agreement. Only look at each other's crystals if someone is missing. Exactly. If you want, we can go get some cloths and put them on the. We don't know what that would do. That would probably be a bad idea. I I, I appreciate the optimism, but. Uh... Frankly, since we're the only ones who can go into that room, uh, let's just make Peg uh, not to watch. Yeah. Well, true. You can only see in the crystal if you actually go. I to mean, look if into one it. of us was a pervert, they would have already been watching us sleep. Fair enough. All right. Since we got that out of the way. Uh, what are we going to do about the room now, anyway? Uh, it literally just seemed to show up, and... Well, for it's what you've been just telling me, mystery, it's... And I have no idea where we're going with this. It is like some sort of checkpoint, yes? From one place to another. Right. But it seems to be linked to where we were? Cause Perhaps we, we need to... to travel to places to activate more. Or they could have been linked up already, and we're just covering old ground, so to speak. Areas that we've already been. We don't know what all we're doing we or where more, all we've been. Uh, knowledge in the Arcana, we might be able to find out more. Well, that's the thing. Um, we asked Maxwell to see if he could actually visually see the bottles, and he couldn't. And I asked if he could sense the magic. He couldn't. Uh, he just sensed the banana. So, um, I don't know if anyone else besides Perhaps us it is linked really to the uh, ritual on the mountain. That's what I'm thinking. Because um, uh, maybe it's show. Maybe the the items are showing up because we're there, so to speak. I mean, I suppose we could go back to check. There's not really much else we can do at the moment. Either way, it's definitely protected. Because one, you can't get into this room without invite. Without the majority of the team inviting you. And two, even if you can, you can't even see the item. You, you can't even see the item in question. So at least nobody's sneaking in the room like a sneaky, sneaky rat. 
Right. So there's no sneaky sneaky into the room. And even if you could sneaky sneaky into the room, you can't find the darn thing anyway, because you don't even know that it's there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this was common knowledge or when we came in here, but apparently these rooms are a tiny pocket dimension that we can only get in or out of the portal. I remember the bartender telling us that the uh you know, the barmaid telling us that the rooms were ex that the room was extraordinarily safe, that only we could go in when we rented it. But well now we know why. Yeah, uh the magic involved with this is uh <laughs> well uh to put it lightly, is um extraordinarily powerful. Both of them, actually. I think we've got two different scenarios going on here. One about the room and the other one about the well, the other room. The crystal room and the tavern. How is that? I'm not entirely hey, give sure me a we fully refresh. understand the mm -hmm. level of magic that we're dealing with. No, but then again, if, from what I understand, given the descriptions of what killed us the first time around, that was some pretty hefty magic then, too, so... We have no idea what kind of levels of magic we were have we had at the time. For all we know, one of us made this crystal made the crystal room. I've and lost I've all the items and clothes in my inventory. Uh, that shouldn't be the case. Hang on. Uh, if that is the case, then I'll spawn in stuff for you again. What was it that you were missing? Everything. I'm missing both my weapons and my books. Okay, you need your tome. You need your... was it a mall? I had a uh, warhammer. And a big ass sledgehammer. So it was that, and... Was it a, was it a sword that you had before? Or... Oh, you're, now you're naked. Oh, he, he's naked. Oh no! Quick! Don't worry, I can get, get my. Clothes. Use your mouse to cover it. Sensor, sensor, sensor. God. Yeah, you were worried about the crystal, dear lord. He's just walking around. Yeah. Uh, so it was your warhammer and then your sword. It wasn't a sword, it was the, like, pike-looking hammer thing. Pike. Halberd. No? Wait, no, it was a glaive. Pretty sure it was a glaive. Oh. Well, while he's getting dressed, um... I guess if the plan really is that we should maybe kind of investigate ourselves and maybe try to learn what kind of power we had, it, it might kind of help us figure out what to do going forward, right? You mean investigate ourselves? Yeah. I don't see any reason why not. We're pretty much going to have to at the, at some point, aren't we? Well, at the moment, I, don't, I just don't really see much of a other path forward. We're just finding more mysteries that seem to connect to us, but we don't really know who we were. Right? I mean... <clears throat> we just know that we were all a party together. We don't know what relationships we had before this, or who we really even were. True enough, we don't know even a lot of details as to what took us out in the end. I mean, when I tried to in inquire about who we were back at the first town, it, I just was getting stonewalled by just lack of knowledge, it seemed. No one really had uh, any uh, It wasn't a glaive, it was like the skinny hammer with the little pike on the end. Because they don't, unfortunately. I mean, 
we're going to be having to look into some historical documents because the one thing we did know is we did find out was that whatever oh, no. it is that went down oh, no, 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 so no, no, long it, ago, it, it was a war pick. Don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, but the when I questioned the mage at the first town, it was just they didn't seem to either have any record of us. I, I need my hammer we re-angled in size, please. Yeah. Humans might not, but um, uh, elves and dwarves are much longer lived. Uh, Their history would last longer. I was really more just questioning them because they're the closest town, but I guess maybe if we branched out further, maybe someone else might have some I just need my book now, happened. please. Well, I mean, Somebody we were... would have to. If it was that big of an event, it's got to be written down somewhere. I That's mean... That's I thought, too, but the, the first town really had nothing on it. I don't think um, we're going to find the information we're looking for it, in it. It was a probably a university or a monastery, maybe an abbey. Um, you know, people who keep historical records. That's what we're going to be trying. That's what we really need to be looking for is historical records. And people who know those historical records, or at least the information. In them. All right. I was, I was back properly now. Oh, uh, what do you think, big guy? Yeah, bet what? Uh, well. At this point, we don't really have a direction to go, so we're kind of thinking maybe we need to investigate a little more about who we were. I agree with this plan, but my biggest concern is we are not strong enough in case something unexpected occurs. There is that yeah. too. If whatever it is that took us out the first time wants well, to ensure that I we... believe we are quite powerful as a group, but worst case scenario, one of us is split off. Well, perhaps not to go full direction that, but maybe at least uh, do the legwork and figure out maybe what killed us, maybe what the history books has to say. I mean, if it, happened, uh, if it happens, so perhaps long we ago, could find something in the nearest capital city. They might have a better historical library for us to look through. They would almost have to. A larger city. I mean, a, a tiny little village isn't going to have a lot of historical records. But well, towns if he's as well. as. The saying goes, history tends to repeat itself. How many times has countries lost their history due to wars, skirmishes, or straight-up rebellion? True, but usually the the uh, country surrounding we... it maintain that history, or at least some of it. We do not know how somewhere. long we have been dead, so we do not know records of our previous existence still survives. True, but if it was that large of an event, there's got to be a mention of it somewhere. Even if it's only just myths. My poor, naive elven friend. If people wish to suppress information, information no longer exists. It would probably Sadly, be in the hands of humans who don't all. value such things. But humans do tend to destroy things they want hidden. And As do elves. Big one is right. If humans want information hidden, they will destroy it. It is not an exclusive human trait. True, but they are short of sighted. The people I trust to have the better records would be nomads. Any idea where we might find the nomads? Is... I'm not familiar with this time period, so unfortunately, no. My. Hmm. There are many of us. That's the problem. We don't know where to look. Well, we I think that, that goes are. back to, to the original point. Perhaps we visit nearest capital city and casually investigate history. Just say we are traveling tourists and want to know more about city and ask its history. 
Nomads mm. would want to hit the trade routes, which would lead through capital cities. Not all nomads like trading with outsiders. Is, isn't mm. that not the case mm. with the elven countries? Uh, but true, we but they're still we going to use the same roads. But they are going to use the roads. A safer road is a well-traveled one. And plus, we wouldn't necessarily be trading. We are simply looking into history. Seekers of knowledge. What, you do not think I could pass as young scholar? Perhaps. Never, You're probably better than anyone that. else in our group. We're certainly never going to get any answers unless we start asking questions. In but we before we ask questions, we must figure answer the first question. What should we be asking? Well, until we know more about how long ago the event occurred, and at least get some background information about how long ago it was and when we were alive, uh, we need to find small context clues to get the bigger picture. If only we had magic that could uh, chronologically trace that we could use on those runes. I mean, if you think crazy suggestion might work on the crystals, I mean, you're welcome to try, but only try on yours. Don't not try it on mine. I mean, rewind the crystals so that you see what happened before we died? Well, I was talking about using a... a to chronologically, I tried to identify when those runes on the mountain were made. That might give us idea. Of when to, what time period to ask for, that's probably not a bad idea. But at least how old they are. We need to narrow it down somehow. Lot well, of... we do have a way we can quickly get back there now. That won't take a week's travel. All right. So, just fell down a flight of stairs. Well done. You okay? Uh, maybe you shouldn't. No, have no, I'm not. I'm good. No, wait, I'm good. Maybe you shouldn't fall down a flight of st stairs. You're not a squirrel. You can't survive terminal velocity. And you're not a I cat. Survived... You won't land on your. You won't land on your feet. Death. I survived at a bed frame to the head. Whoopee. Moving on. I'm getting the last of this stuff, and I'll hop on in about fifteen minutes. No. Yeah. So then, with our current players, what is it that you wish to do now? Uh, well, probably go uh, out of the room, go investigate the inn, ask where the capital city is, and probably gather up who wants to go and start heading in that direction. Might as well. Before we go, I would like to attempt to attain better armor than this leather. Chess piece. Yeah, we can give you a little time if you want to experiment with your crafting, I guess. Perhaps learning the, the, the art of blacksmithing would come in handy to help maintain our gear. Yeah, you get no arguments from me. Uh, go ahead and do what you gotta do. Only if figure out the path we're going since you'll seem to be formulating more of a plan than me. And how come I'm set behind everybody? Like, like, uh, look, the bow is set in front of me. If I stand in front of, uh, that's just character. that's just how it is. Yeah. <clears throat> I will go talk to Blitzmith. When you'll figure out the plan, uh, you know where I'll be. All right, you do that, and I will go start asking questions. I'll keep you coming. Alright. And, uh... Who is it that wants to go first? And then discover it. I can go first, I guess. Alright. 
then it'll be a duo. Back up. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to first ask the call over the barmaid. Yep. Excuse me, barmaid. Yep. How may I help you? Uh, question for you. Uh, we are seeking to travel. God damn it! And, and uh, looking I, for the I can't capital use photos city. Again. Bruh. I don't, I don't want to fucking drag it through with just singular. Like I've, I've done the T to tempt teleport. I've clicked on it, go go to and not. Uh, I'm gonna refresh my game again. Try refreshing, cause I can't help with that. Uh, what was your question again? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um. I was wondering, uh, we are seeking to be traveling soon, and was wondering if you knew where the nearest capital city might be. Um, nearest capital would possibly be the ca uh, the city of Alanya. That's a few... Alanya? Yeah, it's about, a f say, a three weeks journey. Aye, it's quite a ways away. Eh... I mean, it is one, it's one of the main cities of the capital, so, yeah. It's it's more or less in the center of this nation. Well, nearing mm. the center. Is there uh, any transport that uh, that might take us there? The only transport that would be able to take you there would be by horse. Do you have no. a near main city? We are a small group. Uh, is it possible to join up with a caravan? Uh, possibly. Uh, we we haven't really been able to get much around here since we're probably the, the most town that we've had problems with. But, I know that there was a caravan that was wanting to make a stop by here, but there is a bit of a problem. Oh dear. Problem? The whole bandit situation that we've been talking about. Has it gotten worse? No, but if a caravan is coming here, the bandits will more likely get in, get in tow. Well, uh, perhaps they might be interested in trade. Uh, we are seeking to go to the capital, and uh, we could uh, offer our protection as payment. That can work, considering uh, guards are always highly valuable for caravans. Provided they get here first place because yeah if anything you'll have to meet up with them since they have to first make it here so either way I'm betting so it sounds like it's best for us to go intercept them before they get here that would be the case I see <clears throat> uh, would you happen to know in what direction we would be heading uh, yeah, let me. I'll mark it on your map on where the sightings for these bandits have been happening. Wonderful, you've been so lovely. Yeah, I ain't Kate, but I at least know my stuff. Thanks to all these go gossipers. Now, will you keep your ears open then? They do you great work. Oh, if Wiggles gets up, just give him a bowl of raisins and tell him where we. Alright. Uh, all right, I guess we go find the big guy. <clears throat> yeah, so much, uh, I take it that you're actually able to teleport? Uh, let me actually go back to the pot and try and do this, because right. it works Yeah, I'm in the blacksmith now. All right, and then we'll move over to Mouse Levy. Are we in the blacksmith and Kai, or the blacksmith and... Oh, wait, shit, I just realized I just brought the fucking barkeep here. Hang on. Where? I just, Which I did an oops, I did an oopsie. Uh... <laughs> hey, perhaps Scarlet needed to order some more uh, iron mugs. <laughs> yeah, I guess, you guess you're, you're having to pull me. Cause... Also, what, no, I, I, I pulled somehow, Scarlet by accident. Is my character just suddenly bigger than he was before? Right. I, I meant to go over to where Malsevere was without another NPC. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... We'll anyway, move. yeah, I was, uh, there, I've moved. 
All right, so it's just going to Kai right. Village then, right? Through the portal? Uh, yeah, it should be at the bottom one. Okay. Right. Which we'll move, we'll move over to Mouse of here. So this is this is happening while your conversation was happening as, uh, at the point. So Mouse of it, 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 Is it still morning? Yep. It's uh, okay. it's rising sun currently. Good morning, Master Smith. Ah, Master Master Smith. Nice to meet. Nice to see you again. I have perhaps small favor I would like to ask. Depends on the small favor. I would like the honor of you perhaps teaching me a little about your craft so I can help maintain our group's gear. Hmm, I wish to learn the, the art of smithing. Whether it be metalworking, leatherworking, or even helping maintain wooden bows. Anything would be appreciated. Well, luckily with the other smithing, you get to learn everything, but it's your choice to master what. So, it more or less just depends on the route you wish to take with your smithing, but I can teach you the basics. Much appreciated. Now, I know our, us dwarves typically keep our forges safe, but I'm slightly different, so come on back and I'll teach you whatever I can. Which it is a beautiful smith. It yes, beautiful I, forge. I would have a bit more disciples, but uh, not many people come around Kai. Mostly adventurers. Perhaps one day that will change. Possibly. You never know what the future holds. Sure didn't know. Sure didn't know when I met my missus. But so. I'll go ahead and teach you the basics of all the, all three, and later on you can decide on what you wish to prefer. Which he'll go ahead and give you a rundown on all the mm -hmm. all the materials that all all things typically need. Give me a d20 to see how well you understand. Uh, okay. So with the seven, it is. Com complicating as there's a lot to take in, but you feel like in time you can definitely get an understanding of it. I, I will be writing down what he's telling me in my book. You hear some yelling outside going, Wait! I, I, I got in. Did you hear something? Uh, okay, hold on. So, with, with that, uh, with the three uh, currently active players, you see on your on your hand that one of the sigils, uh, one of the, one of the dots uh, changes color, indicating someone else has just awakened. Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> I I burst through the door like Shrek. Oh Jesus! Uh, but as um. Yeah, Master, as always explaining, I'm gonna go. I, I apologize, Mr. Smith, but. Perhaps a slight language barrier. I didn't quite understand what you just explained fully. I apologize. Hey. Yeah, I'm a patient uh, one, unlike my other brethren. The metal man is awake now. Uh, I just came to warn that um, the, the man is currently being suffocated to death. Also, who in the bloody hell. Busted I'm open sorry. me door. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to back that one up. Who? Who is suffocating? What? There is a pillow. Something. Something is suffocating the banana right now with a pillow. What banana? I'm not seeing an issue here. They're what? Oh, they better not be. There I'm is gone. a pillow on top of the banana. I swear to God. I, I think on Zilla's what? end, the uh, pillow <laughs> dot is uh, apparently got priority on level with it over the banana. <laughs> what is oh, this I banana like you speak that. of? I am don't going don't to worry. save the banana. It, it is a small, yellow, annoying thing. That's all you I am for. saving the banana! <laughs> There's another. That's my buddy! Hey, hold on. Black, oh, I want to take blacksmith. Take the, take what? Here. I am teaching. First of all, I like to apologize for the door. I will pay for the door. It's a swinging door. Second off, I would like yeah, to also be... Yeah, um, it's, it's a little broken now. 
I'm a smith. I can repair stuff like that. I will pay for the damages. I would like to also be taught how to blacksmith. Hey, I technically have a blacksmith helmet. Let's go. Can you change its priority at the rest of what's in front of me, please? Coming back. Thank you. Uh, change what? The hammer, so it's in okay, front well, of me. Okay, well, while y'all attend class, uh, I'm gonna just fuck off. Bye. I'm saving the banana. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Leave the banana I, I just need it alone. rotated to the other side now, please. Because I can't rotate. I don't think. Uh, like, like this, or? Yeah, that. And then let me quickly do this. We're gonna go to the front. There we go. Thank you. All right, and which he'll teach the both of you, Jack, roll a d20 to see how well you yes, comprehend. Survey says. Okay, you actually seem to get a knack for understanding what he's saying, even though it's the like the basics. You do get an understanding of of how everything's supposed to be functioned. This seems re this seems like a very under. Or under appreciated craft you have going on. Well, I mean, most people want to fight instead of make, destroy, I, I prefer, and create. I prefer that if you can create the weapons of destruction, you are, you have a much finer, pardon the pun here, tool in your arsenal rather than a blunt object. I mean, you yeah. and me have different views on that philosophy. My. I believe in order to create, one must destroy, and in order to destroy, one must create. Both ideologies work well. Just how well you use them is that the case. As for learning, that's about about, about as much basics I, as I can give you. Because again, what do you prefer to do later on? Up to you. Then I have one final thing I would like to ask. How much does it cost for your armors? Uh, let me quickly look at your sheet just so I know how much you have. I have 13 silver. 13 silver. Uh... Well, we don't exactly have much in armor departments, but... I can offer you some chainmail. That should work for you. As for the cost, say roughly 10 silver. Though because you've been helping out the town from time to time, I'll knock it down to 7. It is better than nothing. I appreciate I will hand him the uh, 7 silver. Armor pieces outside, on one of the armor stands. Alright, all I wish for you is to have a great day. Yes, and don't destroy the door on your way out. I'll try not to. <sighs> Can I steaks. save the banana now? <laughs> Mercer, I just, I just have an idea. Bang. At the end of the game, like, the end of the... When this whole campaign is done, I should have the title, Jack, Destroyer of Doors. That depends on the future, and if you live that long. Anyway, I now, I now have, uh, I've changed my leather to, a uh, chainmail. Alright. You can actually see it on my character now. I head yes. over to the tab to check on the banana and... Which, I take it that I will thank the, uh, blacksmith and, uh, head out. Can I Have save nice the day. banana? The banana wasn't even in danger in the first place. <laughs> okay. <I started laughs> he was, he was never in danger in the first place. You assume the banana man, required Jack. to breathe. You're a dead man, Jack. You're a dead okay. man. Okay, say something. When I You're a dead in... man. You are no. a dead man. Ma'am, when I spawned in, <laughs> the camera had the pillow on the banana. 
You are a dead man. Are you guys? This guy Dalton down here is adorable. Fault. This Dalton is adorable. Hmm? Dalton down here at the bottom. He's adorable. I am lifting up his helmet and smacking his head. Actually, Helen, how do- Can I take off my helmet? I mean, yeah. Yes. You're human. How do we do that? You, you go- You open up the panel, go to Character Studio, and go to Close, and then you just click on your uh, helmet. It takes it off. Where is Character Studio in this? See those two arrows on the side next to the hand? Uh, yeah. Click that, it brings up, like, the chat, you go to Character Studio, and then Close. Which is the smiley face. The oh, only smiley right. face. Uh... The one beside the raised hand, that one? Yeah. Oh, oh bring put it. that down now. <laughs> Raise, draw, take Polaroid. Oh, it won't let me put it down. <laughs> Damn. Damn, to I gotta put it up again. <laughs> I'll do that on my own time. I am lifting up his helmet and smacking his head. Can you see there's another helmet under it? All right. I'm whomping I, it with so a mug I, then. I can see I that care. someone's in the adventuring guild, so I'll move over to them. <laughs> so the banana was hit with a spell, and it turned into banana bread. Funniest shit I've ever fault. seen in my life. No, not my fault. Not, I don't know magic, <laughs> not my fault. Not my fault. He's fine. He's <sighs> sleeping. Remember? Sorry, sure. He got Just turned don't... into bread la he got no, turned I, into bread I'm last. chatting up the blonde in the adventurers guild. I'm I'm just cracking this joke. Sorry, I have to, I have to see this. Where is this? Where's the banana? So, so what we'll brought you to over see, to no, the adventure? He's in bed sleeping. Just... I have this no no, he he's he's in the event. Well, was it, apparently. Was it I'm ch I'm chatting up the briar here, uh, the the armored blonde in in the adventurers guild. <laughs> you're, I swear. Okay, you're, you're chatting. You're chatting with her on your downtime. I see. Okay. Get, getting that affinity points. The other points. two were, were off learning how to blacksmith, so was like, I'm just gonna so, go find something to do. Right. So you're you're getting affinity points with briar. I see. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, see? This is what I this is what I saw. It looks see, like the pebble. You guys, on the you banana. guys are trying. You guys are trying to learn your blacksmith thing, while Hendrix here is learning to to upgrade his riz. Sorry, he doesn't have enough riz. We both know this. Look, it's me. He's ill-equipped. To... Hurtful. He's ill-equipped. He can't do anything. <laughs> Right, hey, so he might be he, he might be a bit too short for this ride. Oh. I ain't saying nothing. So where, where is everyone meeting now? I guess we're going to the Adventurers Guild where they are. Adventurers Guild, okay. It's right next door, across the street. Uh, does anyone want to see after this? Does anyone want to see what I got from the mall? No, I got a fucking Adventure Guild, Jack. I'm going. If you don't, I will <laughs> drag you here. I am loading! Mam is behind me! No, she's already here. Yeah, I'm yeah. here. Oh, Who's in the bed? The banana. The other person! Shiloh. Okay. Which, they're not here. No. They're sleeping. I know! Their phone's dead. She's my phone about to die? No, it's not. Somebody call for and somebody Jack who's just definitely tall enough. Through somebody. It wouldn't so... be an oh no, oh no, oh no, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So you all gather up after getting your items sorted as well as your information. Oh, yeah, does my AC increase now that I'm wearing chainmail? Uh, yes, it does. I need to figure out on how much. Because I don't fully remember. I think it's a plus two for chainmail. Because you're wearing leather. Uh, AC says it's sixteen. I'm wearing chainmail now. Leather armor is but eleven. My, my AC was fourteen, so. <clears throat> yeah. So. Uh, 
we'll say it's boosted to fifth, like sixteen in total. Because of my plus two. Yeah, so we'll say it's plus two that you you've been given. All right. I'm now much harder to hit in combat. Whoa. <clears throat> So everyone, uh, this is Briar. Uh, she is uh, a We've met before. here at the guild. Yes. Uh, yeah, so I have you take on the cult. The okay. Just, just making sure everyone was clear on who this was. Anyway, um... I, I, I pat her head. She is very good adventurer. Anyway, I found the directions to capital and... Um, one, it's going to take us at least three weeks to get there. Two, uh, it, it's going to have to be by caravan. We're going to have to offer security protection against the bandits. And three, uh, we're going to have to actually go catch up with this caravan because uh, they may not even be able to get here safely. I think that covers all of it. How about you guys? I am Please, sitting I here. Think so we're looking at possibly a month. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, barring any um, unforeseen weather conditions or bandit attacks. So, yeah. Um, we're going to be in a long-haul journey, it sounds like. Well, to be hard. I will sit here like I know what you're talking about. I am with a small battle junkie. So, uh... I guess we're going to go after the caravan, or did you have other ideas? Because, frankly, I have none. It sounds like you should probably deal with the bandits before the caravan gets here. It I mean, would that, be the I mean, smart that idea, is kind yeah. of what I'm getting at, is, like, we kind of need to go after the bandits. I would say, take care of bandits, get caravan here, help the town. Well, then it sounds like we should hurry up and... It sounds like we should hurry up and get nice red meaty chunks on my hammer. Well, nice uh, glad we are in already. agreement. Um, hey, Briar, if you'd like to uh, join us on this adventure that is to you. Uh, we are going to Capital City, so you'd be leaving here a long time. Uh, people here still kind of need protection, so it's probably better I do stay. Though I can at least help out with the bandits. I was going to say, let's go take uh, care the, of the bandits. Well, <clears throat> yes, you can come I'm just going to straight up look at Brian and go, I believe the small red one likes you. Oh, I like him as a friend too. I believe he would like to, uh, what, what is the human term, date you. Melsevere, I swear to the gods. Off a cliff! Uncool, Mal Malsevere, uncool. Why would he give me a fruit? I will smite you. I'm walking, I, I'm just gonna walk away into the corner, like... <laughs> you, no. it appears you might have better chances with a brick wall. Never you mind them, Briar. They're just being silly. You know how adventurers are. I mean, I'm always, I'm yeah, always I mean, prepared like, for a I, battle, at, at the very least. Is that what you're asking? He would, I believe he would like to spar in the sheets. I feel like that would be a disadvantage. I will wear your scales as armor, big one. I swear you. You can have them after I shed. Are we trying to explain? Are we trying to explain? Tell you what, Briar. The... Tell you what. Why don't us girls just go and get your? If you're gonna help us with the bandits, let's. Yeah, I should probably get my sword. Get up properly, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll head out with you. I I I turn towards. Oh, wait, the bananas not here. Never mind. This isn't over, big one. <laughs> you look. It look very painful watching you attempt to flirt. <laughs> What? Not my fault. Uh, right. you, you'll need to, as they say, get more ease. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I just woke up yesterday. Technically, we all woke two up days yesterday. ago. Who fucking cares? Do, do I need why, to? Why? Why? I, I why? Go find book. Why? Why you gotta be hating? I'm why? not hating. I'm trying to help. You, you, you're hating. <laughs> you're hating the player. <laughs> all right. So y'all wish. Hate, is they say don't hate the player, or hate the game. So you all wish to go uh, face the bandits. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I, yes. As y'all, as y'all start please, to leave, I don't want to watch this trying to date thing anymore. As as no, y'all, as y'all leave, the so, the soldier at the front of the at front of the bridge just gives you a salute. Is he a norm, by the way? Uh, salute actually, he, uh, he, he, lo he looks golden. like a pygmy. I thought uh, that was a dwarf. Tiny but mighty, stubborn. Fights for honor. That's a Pikmin. You just described a Pikmin. He is a uh, a beast folk. His Dalton. And what she is a uh, well. Connor. Dog. Meg. Nuts. He's adorable. They he onward. Fa fairly, so, uh, fairly old for his kind. Onward. So uh, you know, Hendrix can uh work Where on his going? uh anti riz. And so, to the battle zone. You are going to have a piece of shit in your pillow. <laughs> I, you know, I, I look... Why did it... <sighs> I look over at Hendrix. You know, it's always very nice singing. Understand. Okay. Wait, how the fuck did I get here? Where? Magic. No, like... Where are you? Um, <laughs> I'm at the very beginning where we all, like, woke up. Motherfucking bitch, <laughs> motherfucker. I, I don't, I'm Travel all everyone. alone here at the gravesite. Like, what the... How did I get here? Why, <laughs> why did Shiloh's character come here? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> no, no, he's me. This program's so confusing. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Hendrix. Will you yes. teleport to the nether? You teleported to the end. <laughs> nether portal. Oh, no, God. It, the game forcibly respawned him. God, yeah. it, 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 it forcibly <laughs> respawned me back at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I looked towards the. <laughs> Huge, freaking huge, much, much bigger than they indicated. Crazy. All right, am I you're, am you're, I good now? You're, you're... Yeah, you're good now. You you no you're no longer fighting a fucking static demon. All right, so it takes you a couple <laughs> hours to to get to where the location is, and what you, you're on the you're on the pathway. And as you're as you're traveling along, you do see someone resting under a tree. Greetings, stranger. Hello. Oh, hello there. 
Apologies so, if we walk you from Nip. No worries. So, who are all you? Uh, we are, uh, security. Uh, we are here to help pick up a caravan. Uh, have you happened to, him. happened to see one, uh, traveling on, on this path? No, at least not yet. We're special, We're special forces. Good sir, you seem to be very unequipped for bandit territory. Is it bandit bandit Is it bandit territory? Yep. Are you perhaps bandit? I wouldn't perhaps call look up. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a bandit. I'm a freebooter. So you're a pirate. Pirate. But then to, to be a pirate he requires boat and at least big body of water. Never mind. Or, or are you talking about the pirate that illegally copies books to sell them elsewhere? <laughs> Just shut up already! Fucking bus kill. Uh, what or anything unclear, please repeat. But yeah, Nothing, just... I haven't seen a caravan, at least not yet. And to your bandit question, I wouldn't say I'm a bandit, I'm a freebooter. Ah, I see. And what do we freeboot? Uh, fighting for a justice that isn't there. Yes, what, what justice, justice would you today? be fighting for? The ones that I looked upon look down on even though they're the ones trying to help. So basically like the guards in the isolated town back there. You're fighting for them. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't uh -huh. say that. We don't well, really then who are you fighting for? Fighting for those that aren't able to. So those who can just pay, right? Mm, that's that's a mercenary. I'm not that. So you fight for your friends. Fight for those Sorry. who are in the same boat as me. Okay. So then you would be more inclined to protect the caravan that, as far as we were are aware, cannot defend itself. Or, is, going or, to or is this more of a Robin Hood type thing? Mm, you could say that. You know, the more I chat, the more I think I'm going to have to hit you with my hammer. Mm. No, I think what we've got here is a misunderstanding. Let's, uh, what's your name? I'm, I'm Alavara. What's your name? Nick. Hi, Nick. Like I said, I'm Alvaro. Alvaro, and I um, we've been hired by the tiny little village over there. The very, very last of the food that they've got. And they desperately need this kid to come in. Yeah, and Rex, I feel like this elf, us out. this elf tends so, to talk way more than I'd like to know to... how just it would be for you to try to rob that, this particular very according to <laughs> your according to what you are It's more of a situation of those goods are probably better off in other people's hands. Well, mm. al allow me then to retort. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, mm. he he kind of goes up to you a bit. Hendrix, do you by chance have an apple? No. I, I might have one in my pouch somewhere. In which... Let me... Um, Nick, you said your name was, yes? <clears throat> uh, give me a quick sec, as, uh... Okay. Hendrix. Yes. <clears throat> you take 14 damage. Okay, I'm going to shoot him. As uh, is, you get shot in the it... back. 
son of a bitch. Alright, 14. That, that I should was have... not a very nice thing to do. I'm just shooting Nick. I don't care. I want Nick to go down first. Probably not. But, hey. I this don't know. This backs against that tree, isn't it? As it's a, a straight up roll, right? Uh, it is, but give me a quick sec as well, as uh, that one wasn't the only one acting. And, uh, Mousevere, can I get a roll from you? A perception. Perception is not my strong suit. That would be the elf's job. Yeah, as, uh... Do I get perception? Uh, you can. Re reaction. Go ahead and give me a reaction. I apparently see more than the elf who had a critical failure. Uh, let me get a reaction from, uh, Rhea. See how well she does. Apparently not as, not as well. Do you need me to roll? Uh, your focus is on Nick, so you can't. I'm pissed. I just got shot in the back. As, uh, another person comes from behind Malsevere and s stabs them. Good sir, you are about to have very bad time. And sneak attack, you take 30. Wait, where's Briar? Uh, she would have been, hang on. She would have been about right here with you guys. I'm going to stare at the little man that just stabbed me. And he seems like he is ready to go. As, uh, I guess now would be the right time to say initiative. Dibs. There's the word, by the way. Thank you. Alright, so... 11, which means it's probably going to be dead last. Whoa, this little man's about to be hurt. Shit. Where, where the fucking thing... There we go. Oh, wow. Oh. You found him? Yeah, I was having an issue on finding someone. 15. Okay, uh... Let me see. Okay, how can I set up... Fifteen. Click on that. There we go. Oh. But I, I already rolled initiative. I got 19. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck I did oh, that. Wow, that's, but that's, that's interesting. New. The, the fuck? Like, he, yeah, my I'll, turn I'll, was stolen from Don't me. worry, I'll, I'll edit the initiatives. So, with our Olivara. Uh, let's see. Their initiative. Well, you have an initiative button, so you can press that next time. Yeah, so at least I know that. Uh, Jack got a... I have a zero feet stuck on my screen, and that is annoying me. Does anybody else say that? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, I think it's keeping track of uh the movements. His movements. So um, you know how far wait, is anyone still in the forest, or are we in an actual battle now? Do you see we the battle, battle. grid? Yep. Yes. We're in battle. Okay, no, I thought there... Never mind. Ignore me. Ignore me. Also, I love Jack's initiative. What? Five minus five. Your initiative is zero. Uh, I think I have it. All set. It's a shame. I actually so... got slightly better than I did last time, and that's only because, you know, I didn't roll. <laughs> I hate R N. It's put me at the back of the tunnel. Yeah, for some reason I'm trying to fix it. 
Nam, you're making it really hard to have a water temple. No, it still has you at the back. Why does it have you at your back? Uh, can you click it to make it my turn? That would reset the turn order, maybe? Start turn. There we go. There we are. Whoa. So, it should be your turn, so move how you will. And do what you right, want. I'm, I'm moving here, diagonally. Because, uh, you know, blinking. So, that is, uh, roll with advantage, yeah? Yep. Whoa, I didn't hit anything. Yeah, that will not hit. Master, you fucked up my dice rolls. <laughs> Next turn. And this this is new. Ahead. Nick will pull out here's what Nick will pull out his weapon and he will go ahead stabby, and Stabby Stabby. Yep, he will stabby stab. And what she will miss you. <clears throat> you gonna swing and a miss. You you are too close for close for comfort for his spear. Yep. <clears throat> As it'll be next. Alright. My turn. Okay. I'm gonna go like over here and try to shank him from the side. Edwin. Roll uh roll a D twenty. Nine. That will miss. Damn it. Hendrix. My turn? Yep. Uh, gonna take a swing at his boy. You know what? Uh, oh, okay. And... Do it. Eleven. Huh? Uh, eleven will not get him. Actually, do you have any bonuses on that? Uh, um, would I? Uh, it does starting. We don't have any bonuses. Did, did it hit yet? Did it, okay, did so no bonuses did. to hit. Yep. All right, then yeah, then it would be a miss. Then uh, next in order will be Edwin. As you'll go ahead and make a double strike, which both would definitely miss Malsevere. So, next, all of our shoot him. <laughs> I'm gonna move up one, right, and shoot him. Shoot I've got clear line of sight. Twenty-one. Fifteen. That will hit. Yes. And what's the damage on that again? Now one d ten. Where's my? Uh. A one d four plus two. So roll your damage. One d four. Two. Only four. Well, it's a one d four, isn't it? Uh, your bow does one d ten. Oh, one d ten plus four plus two. Okay, I'm sorry. One d ten. I was like, I, I don't remember your bow doing plus that little ten. damage. Okay, sorry. Fifteen. Okay, better. Dude, I roll so low so often. I just took it. I I. Just uh, Assume that's what I did. As for the other one, he's still hidden. Which? Oh. 
he will take a shot, but misses Jack. Hmm? You were shot at, but you don't know from where. Next in order is Bria. As, does she have her sword? No. I don't get that. So, I'll just say she has her sword. <laughs> As she will go ahead and, and do a sweep. I said a sweep. 13. I'll hit. 4. 8. But modifier 10. Um, Alright. Then back to the top. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, back to the top there. I was getting some gyps. Give me a sec. All right, I'm um, I'm a witch bolt him. Witch bolt, all right. Still with advantage. Uh, it is a spell, so no. Fifteen, that will hit. Whoa. Uh, what was witch bolt's damage again? Uh, witch bolt's damage. Uh, did I write that down? No. Let me look at the damage for Witch Bolt again. Uh, 1d12 lightning damage. 10 damage. Alright, 10 damage. Next, Nick. See if he's able to hit. No, as Hendrix is able to dodge the strike. Yay. Jack. You know, what's a shame, Mercer, is we can't give one of these bandits uh, PTSD again. Hey, I'm going to oh, well. try shaking you say again. That. No, you, say you don't that. understand, Dave. Last time we gave them PTSD of women. Okay, Hendrix, it's your turn. We almost, one of the other players almost suffocated one of these guys with their tits. Is, was that a bad thing? If they had told the actual truth, we would have simply spanked them and sent them on their way. Since they lied, they have to die. It's simple. I mean, I mean, technically, they didn't lie. They were telling the truth. No, Ooh, they 17. lied. They're hypocrites, too, so they've got... Says the elf... Alright, so it's 17 ahead. I You're stepped in, in for hole. three damage. Nope. It's damage. Yeah. Moving right along. As double strike. Uh, does a 14 hit? My, I have an AC of 16. 14 was my previous AC. Alright, then both miss. Going to the next. W Oliver. Damn. Oliver. Nem. Sorry, mm. cat aggro. Okay. I'm going to shoot him again. Oh no. That cat has been aggro. We're all gonna die. Nat twenty. Go nice. Yeah, go ahead and do your damage. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, so seven. And then that's doubled, so fourteen. Alright. Next. So yeah, they gotta die. What do you get? Uh, they don't have to die. Yes, they do. They just need, uh... They were robbing Star and lied about it. They need. To they just need corrective suggestion, or nice. as okay, everyone would say, uh, aggressive negotiations. They're robbing, starving. They need to die. We well, don't know. They they could need to do it to survive. Everybody well, has their own Master, you're right about one thing. 
I mean, they're, te they're technically not robbing starving people. They, they do have food. Oh, now he responds! Were you talking not, before? Not you. I, no, what? Game Lord. Game Lord. Oh. Sorry, just... A different topic. Sorry. As then, I need to roll for another guy. He says right now, I swear to God. As a, let's see. Da, da, da. <coughs> okay, uh, Olivara. Shoot him again. Uh, you got shot for fourteen oh, damage. Oh. Okay. And because you took a shot, can I get a perception? Hey. Okay. Uh. See that. One, two. Okay, you cannot see the person that shot you. They're in the trees, man. They're in the trees. Next. No kidding. God damn it. Oh, I'm I'm not even gonna roll to attack because I'm just gonna continue witch bolt. Okay, so then roll your damage again. One. Whoa, one damage. I shouldn't be laughing. I should not be laughing. Da, 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 da. Two. No hit. <laughs> All right. Jack, My your turn. turn. Can I shake this dude? Please. You can try. Which is a no. God damn it. We have, we have a time frame of when uh, the Warhammer one's starting now. Somebody's actually Wednesday. rolling worse than I am. It's Unbelievable. <laughs> I told you! I can't decide if it'd be good Fuck Vegas you, Nick! Apparently, <laughs> seven. Apparently, apparently, fuck you. Can nobody hit anything? I, okay, you know I, what I, I imagine is round. happening there with the rapier round. and the spear? I'm just imagining those anime fights where, they, where it looks all badass, but nobody's hitting anything. Oh, okay. of course he hits! So, the first one hits you, uh, Mouse Severe. As you take one damage. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I mean, he, he got, he got, he got I, you I the would initial. Like to use my, I got... would like to use my free action to look at him and go, Viet Tico. So did your attack. Can I shoot now? Uh, yes, it's your turn. Yay. Man, you do more damage. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the oh, fuck? fuck I... What is this game? You wanted more damage, right? The fuck? <laughs> no, no. What, roll your damage. No, this is... 13, is this okay, that's, that's, 20, that's 26 26? damage, alright. What is, what is this opposite day? <laughs> you, you you nail Nick right in the shoulder blade. What's he down to at this point, man? Yes. <laughs> Rhea's turn. As she fucking whiffs. Oh. <laughs> she have an advantage. I'm on the opposite side of her. Right. Fuck. Yeah. I actually forgot about that. Hang on. To roll the one. 14. That hits. Damn. <laughs> one. With a one damage club. Whoa. All right. Welcome to the one damage club. Can I? Hey, oh, we're over here doing non-lethal. You've also done one damage. Ned's pulled all our asses off. Well, Ned's also trying to kill these guys. I, I couldn't get less. Jack. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm sure you guys are gonna sit on me before I can kill them, but you know. You take. Yes. You take nine damage. And can I get oh. a perception? A little blood uh, okay. Uh, that's a d20, right? D20, yes. And plus any modifier you might have. Okay. And I have no modifiers. You do not see your assailant. Not severe. Start swinging at the Wait a minute. I'm gonna swing my hammer. 
Oh, you're, you're gonna not do your witch match? Yeah. And uh, nah. 16 hits. Whoa! Two. Two damage. I'm hitting him with a wiffle hammer. Fear me. You guys have like rubber on your weapons? What the hell? Hey. Okay. <laughs> You did Jack, my your turn. He's not hitting me anyway, so... Can I <laughs> he's, do he's, something? He's using a spear, so he has a Can advantage. Can I shank this dude? No. Oh Max God. turn. <laughs> I'm done. I'll be right back. That is stupid. Four. No hit. God fucking damn it. It's truly bad <laughs> if I'm the one that's doing the most damage, guys. Come on. It's 17. not for lack of trying. That hits. <laughs> Give me that one damage. You take seven. Oh, seven damage. Whoa. Next one, Damn. Olivara. <laughs> give me your, give me another nat twenty. Okay. Nat one. No. Who is she, who's she hitting? Let me, let me roll possibility. All right. Uh, changing the camera. There we go. Roll your damage. Oh dear. Oh Please dear. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. <laughs> oh. 16. Okay. What did I get? Uh, I will gladly take the damage. Let's go. Jack. <laughs> oh. Stepped away. There is currently no here. Well, it's between Hendrix and Jack, so... Hendrix, head, heads or tails? Heads. I'm so sorry. It's heads. Yes! So Jack takes 16 damage. Not me! <laughs> Can't you as uh... DM put the damage on him? Yes, I can. I wish I have. To rear. As she got an at twenty. Whoa! And you forgot to roll twice again. But whoa! I mean, it's not twenty, so it's not gonna get any better. Yeah. All right. I was gonna say eight damage. Whoa! And then a sa unknown assailant. Shoots at Hendrix and misses. Oh. Killing these arrows just flying by me. No, oh, sorry, your turn. Well actually, uh as as well. Uh Hendrix, do you wanna roll per for perception? Yes. Uh hang on, let me just check the sheet. Uh, plus one. I really need to get some modifiers to hit, man. Fourteen. Ooh. You meet, revealing yeah. the assailant. <laughs> as, oh, as, as he's that's in the trees. You hit him. Oh, ah. him. He, he has discovered him. Yay! He's found the sniper. Yay. He's found the sniper. I I just point like the the fucking crazy monkey from Family Guy. <laughs> And uh, da, 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 you da, miss. Da, da. Yeah, of course I missed. Now miss. it's to the guy that got PTSD last time this campaign was up. Five miss, Jack. Also, Jack, you took an arrow by Olivara because she whiffed, so you took damage. Sorry. God damn it, man! <laughs> I'm Fuck it, sorry. avoid the sniper. You sub. Oh. Oh. Oppor opportunity attack. <laughs> You're taking opportunity take attack. Go. Do it. The ass of a fucking dirt bike outside. <laughs> All right, so the, they do miss. I'm gonna try to chop this tree down. I'm gonna need a strength. That's a d20. Yes, and whatever modifier you might have. Okay. I'm done. You, no, you, I'm done. You swing into the, you swing into the tree. You get it stuck. You try to pull it back out, and it's fucking stuck to the tree. I'm done. 
I'm sorry. I'm fucking dying. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Orange Jesus just hates you tonight. <laughs> oh no, he nailed and, me. Did you? And, <laughs> and Rick, it's your turn. Nick, I will fucking end you. Nope. <laughs> you 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 stab to to his side and he dodges. You were saying? I said, Edwin, Edwin, bitch, I fucking dare you. As is Edwin's turn. Not one. He he misses he misses completely. <laughs> Stabbing into the ground as as you try to get your tail. That was a bit rude. Oliver, turn. your turn. Don't aim for me this time! 17 hits. Who do you want to hit? Um, how messed up is Hendrix here? Or is, yeah, is, uh... How what are you the one who's me? taking the most damage? Not in Hendrix. How bad's Nick? Uh, he is... Who's I mean, he's, he's definitely been taking a lot of damage from your arrows. Okay, so... And Hendrix is, is armed, right? Hendrix is your ally. Yes, I know. And I'm saying... And because Jack been just lost his sword... Oh, and it seems like Hendrix has DC'd. Um, but on the other hand, he's got a lot more armor, so I'm just going to shoot uh, it. What happened? Happened? Wait, 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 what happened? You DC'd for a bit, apparently. Because your your character went grayed. Oh. Yeah, I'm so, going to shoot yeah, Nick again. My, my connection just... Shoot Nick? All right. Early. Shoot Nick. Survey says... Oh, I already rolled. Remember? 17. Yeah, that's your... That's Get for attacking. damage. Your damage. Oh. oh, my damage. Okay. Yeah. Survey says 13. As next up is Breer. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Misses. Then to our sniper here. You can't really take a shot at at uh, Jack since he's very close. So he will go and strike someone else. And no matter who he chooses, it misses. I was going to say, he doesn't have really a clear line of sight either. Anyway. Well, he's in a tree. It's just I have him on the ground because I can't physically get him in a tree. Ah. As Mouse of here. Your turn. Yeah, 19 hits. Alright, 9. Uh, next up, Neok. 14. Does that hit? That will hit. <clears throat> For one whole point. <laughs> I mean, he, he hit you. Oh, well, that's lovely. Um, he hit you. Hellish Rebuke. <laughs> Alright, uh, how much damage does that do again? Um... Uh... Let me pull up the C. Uh, 2d10 on a failed save... And half as much, so I gotta roll two d10 for damage. <clears throat> Fourteen. Does that beat the save? Or? That was a d20. That was not what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh no, that, that was for me. I was I was oh. seeing if if I beat the save. Okay. Cause actually, did we establish a save for you? I didn't see one. So I'm. Okay. Let me hang on. Saving throw versus magic, maybe. Uh, spells. I feel like I. Yeah. Spell save is uh, spells DC is thirteen. Oh, then he succeeds. Then you'll be taking half damage. Then. Yep. So let me roll that. And okay. So, so rounded up, he'll be taking three. So it's ha! I stepped. Oh, bitch. As 
Jack. I try shaking uh, the tree, uh, George out of the tree. Strength. It's gonna be a one. Twelve. Okay. Uh, let me make a resist. Oh, he fails. Oh, did I do something? Uh, yes, you shake George out of the tree. Yay! I did something. And uh, how, how tall is the tree? Because his name was G ten for. Ten feet. Yes, his name is George. But now he's on the ground. George, George, George of the jungle. Let me roll a d10. He'll be taking some damage. And because he was just shook out of the tree, he is prone. Ah! Hendrix, your turn. I'm going to stab you. Uh, and stab you well. Eighteen. One damage. Four. For, for four damage. <laughs> Better than one. Alright. Me to Edwin. Both miss. As he, he is hard focused on Mouse Severe. <laughs> Since. He, actually, no, she, she has gone good hits, but. Either, either way, he would not have hit it. So. Olivara. Well, to be fair, 17. I have been hitting her in the face with a uh, hammer. Yeah. yeah, so, who are you hitting? Um, I'm going after Nick. Alright, shoot away. I've been having pretty good luck with him, so. Seven. I spoke to him. <laughs> and he's still pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty bad. Mm. Nineteen, that will definitely hit. For a total of seven. And which... And which is to George, who he will use his action to stand back up. So, back to Mouse Alright. Uh, Fifteen will hit. For three. That means you do a favor. Next turn. God damn. Battle sponges. Seven. Taking so much damage. Just do anything. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, I think I have Edwin's health points a okay. bit too high. Because to... I'm still kind of working on that. Actually, I mean, I, I've already lost over a quarter of my health. Well, yeah, you, you lost... I mean, you lost some because of the fucking crystal, and then you got a backstab yeah, from the rogue. I'm, I'm at 142 HP. Yeah, you got hit hard by a rogue. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? Mouse got hit took, hard by a rogue. I took 30 points of backstab damage, man. <laughs> fucking spies. Granted, he hasn't been able to do much damage since he... Can't go stealth. I'm I'm really glad I upgraded my AC by two before. Wait, this. hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold. On. I can you please repeat that sentence, Mercer. Edwin can't go stealth because he's in a predicament. Oh, Edwin! I thought you were talking about mouse severe. No, mouse technically anybody can stealth. It's more of the situation he's currently in, being flanked, mm. and okay. either or he's gonna get hit. If he tries to move. Fair point. He, he is in a bad spot. He regrets his decisions. He shouldn't have aimed for the big lizard. <laughs> Should have aimed and, for uh, the lizard. Jack, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to try to pry my sword out of the tree. Uh, you were able to do that when you were shaking the tree, so you do have your sword Oh, back. sweet. I'm going to swing at George. Swing away. Okay. Now we're making progress. Are you sure? Hey, progress is still progress. Yeah, yeah we really need to get better weapons, because these beginning weapons do so little damage. Yeah, again, I'm, I, <laughs> yeah. I still need to work some kinks. Cause... Meanwhile, you've got fucking the elf up there with already plus six to their damage. <laughs> Well, yeah, she, she That's got... because I almost never seem to hit. 
But here's the thing. You've, Nendo's you have a higher hit rate than hit, me like in the a... last previous combats. Okay, let's be fair. Nam doesn't have a bow. She has a hunting rifle from Fallout New Vegas. That's almost broken. No, that's, that's a really terrible analogy. That's because I rolled for shit. And besides, but again, you still have a higher hit rate than me in the past combats combined. Well, yeah, not to mention, I don't think I was giving you that bow. I was... you, you just kept that on your sheet. Oh! Fuck you said me, I could um... keep it! I, uh, I, Mercer, can you? I can, I can, I can change the bow. Do you want me to change the bow? Drop no, the bow. No, you're good. Because again, it's mainly because you're bent, your your pa passives that are helping you. Mercer, can you take over my character for a bit? I have to deal with a situation. Uh, I mean, I can't physically take control of your character, but okay. Emergency. Family, okay. probably. <laughs> but uh, Hendrix, it is your turn. Okie dokie, I want to stab Nicholas. Stab and whiff. Motherfucker. <clears throat> oh, not 20. As you take seven damage. Whoa. Alavara, your turn. <laughs> Okay. Casual, casual 19. And 9. I take it that you're going to shoot next? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, then okay. she's not talking. Okay, I was like, hold on. Did, did my headset, like, fuck up or something? No, my connection... The Discord keeps periodically dropping. Nem, you awesome. good? Yeah. Yep, I'm good. To beer. Uh, who are you Sorry. attacking? I was attacking Nick. Okay. Thirteen hits. In real life, was muted. Oops. Oh, three. Uh, next would have been George, which uh can't really do much. But he will go ahead and do the initiative of moving away, which would cause Jack to attack. So uh, move... Unless he's taking the disengage action. Actually, yeah, he'll... yeah. Actually, he's a, he's a sniper. He he would take disengage. He's gonna run. Run to a disengage. better position. The only way to move to a different spot without having opportunity of attack. Yeah, so he will disengage to get to a better position. Which uh, we'll say he's like back here. Just, just to say, like, hey. he's, he's in a tree. <laughs> That's really your turn. Uh, 12 will not hit. Which man to next? Hey, sorry about that. We had to kick someone out of a. That's a good hit. <laughs> Hendrix. Dave. Ah, uh, seven. What oh, no, I'm saying, does a ten hit? Oh, does a ten hit? No, it does not. <clears throat> okay. So I thought you were asking me to roll for my turn. <laughs> uh, with Jack now being back, it is your turn. Is George back in the tree? Uh, no. He, he disengaged. Oh. All right. <laughs> Which, uh, technically speaking, he is close to a tree now, but he took his action, so he's not able to do anything. So I can now leave and go help Hendrix. Uh, yeah, you could. Or you could That's... follow the snap guy and keep him, you know, off people. Finally, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try and follow this uh, George. Uh, George is up. Yeah, he's up. Okay, then I'm gonna go shake his the, his next tree. He's not in a tree, he's located up on the map. Oh. Uh, where is... Okay, there you go. He's making his movement very fucking complicated. 
Yes. Exactly. I'm making my way. There we go. He's not up a tree yet, but he will be. Hey, I'm hiding behind a tree now so I don't get shot. That, that's not how that works. Yeah, if anything, you're in his line of sight. It's called cover. Again, you're in his line of sight. You're... You're not literally speaking in that position. Literally speaking, <laughs> you are in line of sight of him. Well, I'm not a man line of sight, so I won't get shot by her. Also, you technically have five more feet of movement because of how you you are moving. It would kind of too much. Fifteen. That's it. You hits. could have moved. You can move up one. Two. All right. Two damage. <clears throat> I stab him for two. Edwin. Whiffs. He he accidentally throws his knife. He's down one knife. Olivara. Nick still alive? Well, yeah. Barely. I mean, you might want to move. Oh, fair point. I mean, she's in great line of sight to shoot the archer if she wants to shoot the archer. Oh, that's true. I'm going to shoot him, too. Well, actually, I'm going to shoot him. Let's see if I can get him out of the tree. He's not in a tree. How many times do I have to, does this have to be repeated? Oh, he's not in the tree yet? I thought he went before I... <laughs> okay. Oh, no, he's still on the ground. Okay. So then I'm going to shoot him so he can't get up into the tree. If he's wounded, he can't climb. That, that, oh! Yep, yeah, that hits... He took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> twelve damage. Uh, twelve. Yep. To the next. The beat. Beer. Uh, double sixteen. So yeah, that definitely hits. With a six. And which, uh, to George, as seeing as he just took an arrow, he will return fire. Does 15 Thank hit you, you Alvara? Let me see, it does that actually hit you. I believe it does. Uh, okay. It does, as you shall take uh, 7 damage. Ooh. Also awesome here. Go. Oh. Well, let's do seventeen. Basically hits. nothing again. Whoa. I mean you had your witch bolt that you stopped. I mean that's just does the same damage as my hammer, but every time I roll my hammer I have a chance of a critical to double. Alright, and let's uh back to next. Can't critical my witch bolt. Da -da. Rolls seven miss Jack. I aim to destroy George's weapon. Well, first get close to him. Y yeah. Oh, okay, now can I aim to destroy his weapon? I mean, that's a call shot, so... That won't happen. Damn it. <laughs> Hendrix. Fifteen hits. Fifteen? And ooh, six. Six. All right. Uh, as you deal that blow, he'll actually uh, he'll actually stumble. <laughs> fine, fine. I yield. I just place my blade. I wish he, he, blade, right, hearing that chin. word, he'll uh, you'll see Edwin drop his knife, as well as uh, George drop his bow, since they don't seem to want to, you know, kill. I just keep my my blade along his neck, just as holding it there in, in defense. Combat mm -hmm. will end. And let me actually go ahead and do this so I can eh. 
control, put away those. And just so then George actually is near, I'll, I'll make him come over here at least. Also, who? That's Jack up there with the sword. Yeah, it's, it was George that uh, I was trying to get down. There I am. Move control. So I say we can't trust. You're an elf. Doesn't it come naturally if you're not to trust anyone? This is true. But they knew the town was in trouble, and they were trying to screw them over any. You say screw over, but they're better off than us. Actually, that is, um... Not true. And that yes, gives you the right if to steal these from caravans them. don't reach that town, that, that town dies. Wait, really? Yes. Yeah! That's Do what we not consider you. these actions. At all, when you decide that to town rob a was caravan. incredibly isolated. We've only just unisolated it. I was tipped off that the town was doing well. That's tipped why the caravans were no. getting many fucking travels. Tipped off by who? Honestly, not a very reliable information that I think of it. I would say so. I, they I haven't received supplies in years. I pressed my blade a little closer to Nick's neck. I didn't hear a name. The only name I got. Here, let me pull it. Let me actually pull up my note for it. Uh, when I. Whatever wants to load, there it is. Take that. The the only name we were able to really get from them was K. Where did you meet this K? It was in ruins. Typically, a place people get for breaker information. So a dead I have a question. How bad off are you to be robbing caravans? Considering that me and my 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 buds here are constantly tossed away, even by the adventuring guild, pretty bad. What did you, you do to get kicked out of the adventuring guild? Yeah, really. <laughs> Nothing. That's point. Was it a corrupt guild representative? I can probably guess that. Not, so, not everyone is kind. So what I'm getting at is, you require a job, yes? Well, that's what a freebooter is. People that are looking for jobs that were once adventurers. You know the town you basically just tried to accidentally murder? Unknowingly? Murder, hard word. I we don't try to kill. It wasn't an intentional kill, but it was still. That's going what. To that's why I said unintentional murder. Manslaughter. Their, I think is their the term. blood would be on your hands. Why don't you just go to that town and ask for a job? Because they really need help. They could use skilled individuals to hunt, to gather food, to protect caravan routes. You help them, they help you, maybe clean your hands a little. They will probably give you a job if you mention that, that we sent you. You really think they'll accept a rejects? They mean, the, 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 have us. you seen our group? We are basically walking rejects. No no offense, guys, we, just, we are. I mean, I've just, I've just joined you guys. I really wanted to fight. That that one's just a battle junkie from the Adventure Guild. I can tell from the strikes in the back. If it makes you better, we... Well, with the road clear, the caravan can get to the town, yes? The caravan probably would have been here within a few hours, if anything. Considering how long that battle took, they'll be here shortly. 
then why don't we all meet the caravan and all help the caravan get to the town together? We'll put in a word for you. Yes. You play it clean with the town. And both us and the town will help you as much as we can. How's that? A fair job. Can't get much more just. Fine. And well, unlike the uh, other good. people, we and we tend you. to help people. He uh, he turns and points his rapier to George. If I catch another arrow in the back from you, that's gonna be the last arrow you ever fire. Sorry, I was doing my job right. You can't fault him for that little red spicy one. He was doing some pretty good aiming. I'll give him that. You shot the bad guy. Jack in the back. How was that, that doing a good hard. job? I was shot in the that, back, by the way. Yeah, Daryl and this guy was shot not by, mine. I was you doing were my shot job. My enemy. He was doing job. You can't fault him for that. Our elf, on the other hand, shot our friend. Yeah, I'm just, making the, I'm just making my point clear. I I will not tolerate another arrow in the back. I'm just finally lying sorry. on the ground in pain. I, I'm, I'm gonna no, come no, no. close to Hendrix. <laughs> Let me just take my hand, bro. Le okay. Lean in close and I'm go. Gonna... Perhaps the battle junkie likes scars. Yes. Fuck it. He <laughs> lifts his uh. His little, uh... To Do you not see the scar on the glorious abdomen of mine? And but points to the scars. electric scar on, on his on his chest. But more scars, me I uh, don't even know battles? where I got this, but I'm pretty sure this is already bitchin'. Uh, that sounds like an adventure to me. I mean, it could be bigger. Again, I don't even know where I got it, but it's it it's pretty big enough. I mean, if you if you really want to get a girl's attention, probably bear claw across the face. That typically gets some going. I, I probably face. shouldn't be giving advice in this situation, should I? Well, I man, he could take as much advice do, as possible. Do you not do you not notice how beautiful this face is? Uh. I, I I agree with our new um, acquaintance. Uh, the scar across the face. You was, sir was are just a cock block. No, I am trying to help my friend. Is it? Is that what it is? Well, I don't know what humans like. I'm trying my best. Yeah, I guess a proper introduction would be best. I'm Nick. Ed, Ed Wen's over there. He's the one that really started the group. And George. I will extend my hand. I am Mel Sylvia. Again, sorry. I guess that's Hello, really mis misguided judgment. Well, it, it's true you can't know who you can trust. I only know I can trust uh, this rat tag group because of circumstances. Yeah, when you've been tossed around a bunch, it's kind of hard to trust. Okay, that I can get. Yeah, me and, me and the boys will get whatever stuff is remaining, and we'll get it to the town. We don't really need a map, since we somewhat know where it is. Actually, could you actually mark it? We might actually get lost. Yeah, actually, it's actually pretty simple. You see this nice little dirt trail we're on? Just follow it in that direction. Don't go off road. You'll meet the town. Yep. Oh, I thought we were all going into town together. I mean, as far as I was aware, that was, was going to happen once we meet up with the caravan. I was going to say. So I, everybody's nice and mellow. Yes, nice and mellow. <laughs> I thought they you... were bad guys. Bad guys need to die. I didn't say who, uh, who I was not mellow at. 
I mean, they shot uh, I'm gonna first, walk so up to Jack would, and just rip the arrow out of his bag. The bad guys. Fuck you, that hurts! Jack. Would you rather it stay there? Jack, make yeah, a constitution. Since you just had an arrow ripped out of your back. We got a bleeder! Why am I here to use my undying thing? Ten, you fail. You take ten, oh, fucking ten points of bleeding damage. God damn. Go, oh, come on! Do I have to use Spare the Dying? <laughs> I would like to, uh, basically oh, put a date on him. <laughs> you, you, you stopped the bleeding. See me back to the bar! <laughs> you stopped the bleeding. <laughs> We have to yeah, cauterize said, the wounds. Little friend, would you prefer the arrows stay in there? At this point, yes! Stop being such a baby. I have more injuries than you do. I got shot in the back of my own companion! What are you I got I shot got too! Uh, I got stabbed in my back. What are you on about? I will not let that go! As as y'all travel <laughs> to Kai Valley. That was not my fault. Fingers. Uh, it's your need, fault. I'm gonna need to drag I'm out. I'm gonna need to drag out fuck ton of people. <laughs> the whole town will hear our bickering at this point. Oh. I oh. was getting shot at too, you know. I've had them here. You, you somehow shot me. And why is there a dead person here? Wait, don't worry about it. Why is there a dead? Person? <laughs> There's a dead person here. Don't, the worry. Fuck? don't worry about it. Where? Oh, oh what? Is don't worry it's not about a dead it. They're not there. They're not there. The banana is back at home. Don't, don't don't worry about it. The, you you don't recognize the bodies in the water. What is this ghostly apparition? Yeah. What? Why is? You want to go hide Curtis' character somewhere? I I. Uh, fuck. There. No, 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 no. Just leave it there. Leave it there. Leave no. it there. It'll no. be the perfect. Come on, it's funny. No. Okay. There. Banana's gone. Banana's back no, at home. No, still, it's still there. Banana's it's back at home. Shut up, Jack. Keep moving. <laughs> Again, you, Jack. Don't, you, you do not recognize the bodies on the water. <laughs> Wait, there's bodies in the water? <laughs> you you do not recognize the faces in the water. Why don't, are there faces don't, in the don't water? Don't jump. Don't jump. <laughs> Why am I seeing these faces in the water? There's faces in the water. Am I on drugs? <laughs> Did we eat some mushrooms on the way home? I, I, at this point, I'm just waiting. <laughs> Why well, have tears in my eyes? Yeah. Ugh. So. We're sorry, Mercer. So more or less, <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, after getting everything sorted out, you head back over to Kai Village. After after an hour, the caravan does arrive. Uh, pretend they're pretend they're there because I'd set up a fuck ton of shit right now. Yeah, that's fun. But uh, they they do thank you for helping with the bandit problem, which uh, you you bring up the topic of guarding their caravan while they go to the city, in which they agree. So you do not have to pay for the travel. Yay! I I have a question. Who is who is leading this uh, caravan? Uh, is 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 it my boy, my van? Yes, I'll I'll you know that's Whoa. actually that's actually a better way of putting it. Yeah, my van. The, the person's name is Whoa. my van. Uh, for context, Dave, uh, last uh, time this was going on, I had basically permanently hired uh, my van to sell all our loot and shit. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, put him here. He's he's a good, good uh, merchant, by the way. And he's I a good move, egg. Let me move one more person. As soon as he wants to load. Well, I will introduce myself to my band. Greetings. I am Malsevier. Alivar. Oh, much considering I don't have a no wave. I don't have a thing for him yet. So just blink NPC. Uh, the name is Hendrix. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. 
as for the the transportation, I'm willing to take all of you, at least however much of your group there is. Uh, it may be subjective on the time we go. Uh, when are you planning on departing? Uh, we're planning on staying around for a good four to five days. We have been traveling quite a bit, so we need to get a calm down. As well, well as if, try and restock whatever much we can. Well, if you need help carrying anything, let me know. Yep. I'll be sure to, since you seem like somewhat capable. That is uh, questionable at best, because situational, you know? Well, you seem capable of lifting, that is. I believe so, yes. They're referring uh -huh. to the fact that you're big. Well, the big tough I'm guy. I'm well aware, short stack. Oh, Briar left? Or, sorry. Bria well, left? What, uh, Briar's in the adventure you call it, everyone. Does that um, make me a short? I'm going to lift Hendrix up and put him on my shoulder. There, now you're taller than everyone. I'm just gonna limp back. You're not proving anything with this. I'll take care of you, big guy. Little guy. Human guy. But, uh, can you actually see anything from up there? You have better view, and your eyes are better than mine. Uh-oh. Um... Let's find out. D does he t technically have an advantage because I'm technically helping him? Oh, oh. Is that oh, he crashed. Yes? He crashed. Oh, no. He, he uh, just uh, said so. Yeah, well, his his stream is mic. still up. So ah, there we go. Still... Yeah, yeah, Mike. I need. I really need to get a fucking different cord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, Hendrix, you can roll with advantage. All right. One more time. Yeah, twenty. Twenty. All right. You definitely don't recognize the bodies in the water. <laughs> I'm more traumatized by the fact there are bodies in the water rather than identifying them. Why are there bodies hey. in the water? Hey, Dave, you know what you see? You see a bunch of random people in front of computers, these unknown uh, magical screens, rolling digital things. That's what you see. You you see it. You see a you see a board that is called Discord. You don't know what that means. Is it is it some form of spell? I just look to the sky. God? My child. What do you wish for? <laughs> Brother. Speak, <laughs> speak thy words and you will you'll be gifted. I wish for eternal power. Not gonna happen. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I'll, I'll put what is down. this burrito that just dropped in front of me? <laughs> you see a cookie on the floor. You Take don't know. The you don't know I'm where. Pick up the cookie. You don't know where. Why am I leaving? <laughs> censor, censor, censor! God! Oh God! God! Put on clothes! Why? Why? Why have you forsaken me? <laughs> For power, it, I, you must sacrifice. Burned. For power, you must sacrifice. My cookie now. It burns! I run off to the... I, I stole this cookie. Yeah. Alright. Give this man so, pants at least! So, so enough joking around. You you get you get your contract to help guard the carriage and they'll provide... You literally provide. took away all of my items. <laughs> that was yeah, it's what happened to me earlier that when I took really. away... You took away everything. It wasn't him, it was it's the program, because it happens <laughs> to me as well. <laughs> Let me spot okay, well, I am I'm butt ass naked, I can't do anything about it right now. You can now. go go into the character studio and you can 
I Good dropped, floors. I dropped your rank for character. you. It's it's all gone though. Like I have to like open the yeah. You have to manually recall the like, and everything. Yeah, I, yes. I can't do anything about that. That literally oh, wasn't me. What do you think I had? I did that earlier, so don't worry. Uh, well, uh, have fun blocking my body here for a few minutes until I, mean, I can. That, that, that's fine. I mean, there, I, I mean, there, I mean, you I don't, that, you I don't really need to censor. It's, it, there's no genitalia. I'm naked. You... <laughs> Give this man It's some not soul. my fault. Yeah, my Ben will. Allow the uh, allow you guys to guard his carriage as well as if you have anyone else that's <laughs> able to They're fit inside the carriage, the, they can the come along as well. Um, I don't remember I, what pants I had. I just shoot well, they're gonna be here for a few days, and that's good. Um, uh, as for these uh, three, I think we need to introduce them to certain individuals. Now. Why don't you go introduce them to the Adventurers Guild first? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. This one's clean, I swear. She's above board. Come on. Which uh, Edwin will actually follow um, you since he's the group leader, I guess. Well, all three of you should probably get to. She's really nice, actually. You'll have to give me a bit to get them over there. He's only That's one good. DM, bro. I can't, I can't Everybody. mass select Super and nice. control. Everybody. I can't mass control. I don't know why that happened for you, for you Dave. I, yeah, I, really I picked up earlier. the cookie and it, it took away everything. Uh, wasn't your pants a bit baggier than that? It, it works for now. It works for now. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna. Your yeah. pants. Go that's all in. that counts right yeah. now. But yeah, you do, get. Do you want your cookie, Dave, or do you not want to risk losing your clothes again? It shouldn't happen again. That's the thing. All right, there, well, there's your cookie it. on the ground. Tempting fate. Okay, we're good. Hey, this is Edwin, uh, George, and Nick. They're going to be helping out around for a little. Uh, were they once adventurers? <laughs> Since they seem geared enough for it. Uh, yep, they're going to be adventurers. They're going to be helping out with the town, uh, guarding caravans, yada yada, this thing. Yeah, thing is that we'd like to be reinstated if possible. Uh, if you'll give me a few, I can do that. Just tell me the the original uh, place of work that you did. Well, the first place you got. Established first. Uh, that place was city of what was it? Kaltor? Yeah. All right. Then I will set up your your reinstatement statement in a bit. So just sit around, get yourself comfortable, and get your wounds patched up. Especially you. Pen cushion. Yeah. Who well, is she saying that about to? that? The one who took yeah. the most arrows. Speaking of Nick, have a seat. I'm gonna pull out my uh my bandage my 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 you well, know first aid kit. Patch. And I way. am returning to the room. If you need me, you know I got leather. Be. As he's just gonna bite down on leather to stop any grunts. What the hell are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm no, gonna go okay. get food. Fuck this. All right, I got this. All right, as, as I do have some soothing I'll, herbs if you want them. I'll say with all that, everyone goes back to the tavern, so you, yep, everyone can move there. Okay, so I'm gonna patch him together, and then we're gonna go back to the tavern so he can get a room. Rest up. You know what? I'm a. You know those rocks that I've been collecting? Yeah. I'm going to go over to William and uh, give him the rocks. No, not that one.
There's that one. There's that one. I I had three separate rogues. I had the mossy one, the yeah. the multi-looking one, and a smoke black one. Uh, then that would be this one then. Yeah. Greetings, friend William. I I brought friends for your uh, friends. That's when did you get birth? What was that? William looks at his, his rock and say, Bess, when did you give birth? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy your time, friend. I need a meal, please. <clears throat> right, yeah. Let me get rid of these ones. Uh, how much was it? Five, uh, five copper. Five, okay. And since that, uh, we actually got a caravan yeah, this time around. Pay. Uh, we actually have a bit more, uh, more variant. I will well, take whatever you recommend, as I put five copper on the counter. Here's to make a scramble. Thank you. And Oliver, are you coming over? Oh, yep. I was taking care of the pin cushion, remember? Yeah, I'm saying everyone can go to the tavern since, oh, okay. since it's about time I'm going to wrap up. Okie dokie. So I'll patch them together and then back to the inn. Gotta show them where the inn is anyway. And at some point tomorrow, obviously in game now, but we're going to need to introduce to the yeah. various people in town. Yep. And which, today you can definitely say, was an eventful one. Yay! Mm hmm We did good. But you are curious about one thing. Uh, as you're all sitting at the table. Where's Max? We left him in what's his face. Shit, we're on him! <laughs> That's the point. What, what did, you guys left him in the other town. What did you do with Maxwell? <laughs> you left what him in the other he town. He can't teleport. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, I'll... I'll go get him. It's a week's journey. I'll still go get him. We'll take no, your time. No, no, no. I, I, we might be able to. Well, no, we can't. Can't interact we, with the thing. We can uh, collect him on the way with the caravan, van. Yes. Oh, this is true. Do you want me to go tell I them mean, that we're uh, coming? <laughs> it it wait, is look, along the wait, way. Wait, 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 wait. I just we can teleport right, right? Uh, yes. Hendrix, your understanding I don't think we can on the map else. you're given, it should be all along the way. Just. It might take a bit of a detour, but it shouldn't extend the time. It's along the way. We, we can pick him up I uh, might just teleport on the way there. It's there. fine. It, grab Max and teleport back here. We don't know that we can teleport him because he can't see the bottle. Well, first you time for everything. You'll never test to see if you could take I mean, somebody if, with you. If you wish to see he couldn't see the bottle, in action, so by all there means, was no way for we, him to interact with did. We did ask if Max could see the bottle, and he said no, so pretty safe bet he's not going to be able to touch it. And I was concerned about the security, but because maybe that much magic... would he be able to come uh, with you? If he touches you, then you touch it? I mean, well, we, we never try, did but try I was a little it, nervous too. We, we all can see it, so we don't need to touch someone else well, to that, touch it. Well, that's something to discover later, perhaps with enemy. 
you know, in case they get teleported to the place between places. Yeah, see, we don't know what kind of security is on that room. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of magic just to make that thing. Well, so... that is a problem for future us. For now, I'm eating milk. We'll, we'll, we'll send the banana in first. Screw you! We are not sending the banana in you first. Have the banana banana part part of the okay, no. You have no request if you shot me and Hendrix. Oh, shut up. You deserve it. I didn't no, shoot Hendrix. No, she didn't shoot shot me. You. But she shot you. No. No, no it was a I, I was shot by George. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a heads or tail if it, if she was going to shoot Hendrix or or you anyway. Yeah, no, like she Hendrix shot you. Out. She, yeah, <laughs> she didn't shoot me. Hen that was Hendrix an looked out. <laughs> you can consider that payback for making me think that Wiggles was dead. Friendly so... fire is never acceptable under any circumstance. It was unless accident. it's funny, which in that case I got to say it was pretty damn funny. I, I really did I not mean to do that. Back in the head. I mean, you really sucked at accuracy with that shot. You, you went oh, right I, with that one. I fully admit it. I fully admit it. That shot sucked. I don't think you could get any worse than that shot. That was a bad shot. Like I said, I slipped. I swear to God, I slipped. I think maybe you need some practice on the range again. Oh, you all were yes. making some Point. whoops as well, so I don't want to hear it, okay? No. Well, to be fair, no. none need... of us hit any friendly. Yeah, kind of feeling my gear's a little mediocre. We definitely need more practice. This, this is proving the concern I had earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fully admit I... Not a fair point, but we don't even know if I was. The biggest I'm... problem is coin. We need a lot more coin. This mm -hmm. chain mail I'm wearing is seven silver. Well, it cost me seven silver. Normally it is ten. It's quite the bargain then. Yes, if we want proper gear, we need a lot more coin. We need to do a lot more jobs. I have anything drastic happens, I fear we are drastically underprepared. Well, a lot of jobs is a lot of time spent, and we need to kind of be moving on this a little quicker, so how do we make coin uh, faster? Adventure. Well, there are many ways. Uh, perhaps if... Well, our friend Jack here talked to blacksmithing quite nicely. If he can improve that skill, perhaps if we can get the raw materials, he can make weapons for us to sell. Uh, but then we'd be setting up shop to sell his perhaps stuff. Perhaps we could make a deal with uh, the caravan we're working with, my band. Perhaps we could give him the stuff to sell for a slight cut of the profit. That way he worries about the goods to be sold, and we can continue doing stuff to increase our power. So what? Adventure for the raw materials, turn them into items, and then sell, sell them off to the caravan? That is what I'm thinking, because that will give us the experience we require, the coin, and perhaps even better equipment. Not only that, but it would also give the caravan reason to keep coming back and help the town overall. Well, I mean, also consider it's going to take us three weeks to get to the capital from here anyway, so we would have a lot of time to gather materials to be sold by the caravan by the time we actually arrive. I was so... thinking of going back to the bookstore and getting books on uh, materials, herbs, and other things we could potentially find on the way, so we can slowly collect up a stock. If Perhaps I could even delve into alchemy and start making some potions to sell. This is a long can... trip between here and there, so I suppose whatever you want to do to pass the time. I had to have, um, you know, a plant identification at some point. I mean, as a, as a reminder, you did recently get stuff from a dungeon. And you don't, dungeon? And you don't yeah, know its I, values. Yeah, I was gonna bring those up to my band. But, uh, do I have my little bookshelf thingy, yeah? Uh, yeah, yes you do. Your book. Uh, your bag of book holding. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that up and pull out the uh, monster book. This encyclopedia that we got the other day of monsters, it's very interesting. I suggest uh, you guys have a look. It, 
it shows you what the uh, parts you can take that are valuable from monsters. Hmm. Monster, take the part. It, yeah. it even it doesn't give you an extensive list of what the parts are used for. It can give you uh, like examples of what stuff like. This here, direwolf pelt. It, it can apparently make some very good uh, leather straps to help hold equipment, like leather sheets and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Monster, can I actually get a D100 from you? Just to see what page of uh, the Monster book you turn to. Okay. Uh, with a 91, uh, you turn to a page that. Uh, that has a con that has a connection towards the wolf uh, tier, being a uh, a flame wolf. Although not very uh, shown often, but uh, their materials are highly sought after, especially the fangs, that can bring about a fiery aspect to equipment. This is another wolf. Look, I will show it on the page. It is rare monster. The book does not seem to tell its habitat, but its fangs can apparently imbue the aspect of fire. Interesting. I mean, again, we're, we're gonna have a lot of time between here and there to potentially find these things to gather along the way. Yes, this, this book is an interesting read. If anybody else would like to read it, let me know. I can pull it out of my bookshelf. You carry a small bookshelf with you? It, I will show him my little floating bookshelf. It, it holds many books. Nice. I do not know where I got it from, I just, I just have it. Very nice. I don't know how many books can fit in it, but it, it's like a dimension holding thingy for books. Like a bag of holding maybe, but for books only. I'm unsure if That's even weird. scrolls can be put in That's weird, and he just he, he starts to slurp the suit. Just... <laughs> Well, for this group, we are this kind of the starting point. Yeah. Right. Now, I'm gonna take my uh, dish up to the uh, counter floor. Yeah, I was gonna say by by this time you're you would probably be done with the food and, and stuff. That was completely yeah. an accident, and I perfectly put that on the on the bench. <laughs> that was perfect. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna check in on Wiggles. I'm in the room. I'm assuming pretend we pretending that you are going to pretend to pretend that he that they are there. Well, yeah, because this, <laughs> because the program moved him doesn't mean that he actually moved. Yeah, because apparently, right. apparently, it's different from active and all. For some reason. Anyway, and did I take those off? Because I don't want to wear my belt and stuff in bed. And to save the others from uh, Dragon Ball nudity, I will continue wearing my skirt. Yes, we, we don't need to see your dragon penis. <laughs> We've already seen enough of it today, thank you. I'm afraid to change my character. <laughs> I already keep losing their clothes. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not on purpose, I can tell you that. Okay, so I Perhaps take out somebody my was, uh, put down my bow. Perhaps somebody was uh, testing some magic and it, it went awry. If, if Who we knows? can pretend everything else, probably... we can pretend that I took off a I, I lost my sword, all my <laughs> items, and my I, clothes. I, I dropped the sword. Hold on, did you not pick it up? No, I, I did, but I'm saying, like, in that okay. moment, I lost everything. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I lost the... The deck of cards and playing card hands that I had in my inventory as well. And yeah, I, I had a sweet roll I mean, on me. I had my sword. 
This is I lost I... my bird. Thank God. I mean, what? <laughs> Not the bird. <laughs> and this is why I will never take off my helmet. I mean, we can fix that. We can pin you down and take it off. You wouldn't do that. You Don't underestimate bet. them. <laughs> well, since uh, this one doesn't have duct tape, I will fucking find a rope and tie you to the bed. Well, I mean, to your knowledge, from what you've been what, told, what is the I, have, I would love to, to find a magical roll of duct tape so I can duct tape people to walls. Well, no, because it, because the innkeeper said that it, the room changes to what the users need. <laughs> I need a magical roll of duct tape. You mean you want? That's not neat. Not necessary. Do you, uh, un you underestimate the usability of duct tape, bro. Oh, no, I do not. It's just the wants and needs are different. You want a... You know what, I don't want to say it's too late. Hey, if there's somebody unconscious, it's a lot easier to apply so much but... duct tape that they're stuck to your back instead of carrying them. It's both of your stuff. Wait, what? But uh. Here's the. Got the poutine as well. Yes. Okay. Honestly. But uh. I say this is where we shall call it, as it has been quite eventful, and I am running out of energy. Yeah, I mean three and a half hours. I mean. It was a pretty good session. Yeah. And luckily, I had roughly five people. Yeah, I'm glad I actually managed to make it. We're gonna make it happen with That's four. It's fine. Group. Uh, you say five? Pretty good group. But uh, yeah, I appreciate all you taking your time to join another session. I had. I'm hoping that wasn't my fucking. Okay, that was my mic going off. Yeah, I, I also think that the people that do watch or listen in enjoy the session as much as I enjoy hosting them. And uh, even though it's, it pains me to make some of these maps when I have to, it's still fun. And as long as people are having fun, that's good enough for me. I'm having a lot of fun. Just, again, I'm going to point out, don't kill yourself doing well, if anything, I have a project in the works for a new area, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the people that were here for the first iteration are definitely gonna like it. Well, is is it gonna be that um that town that has the dock on the way to the main town? Well, main city. Uh, do you mean to Ol Olivan uh, Olivania? Yeah, the port town on the way there. Ol uh, I would have to possibly try to get that, but there there is something that you'll more likely like. It's just a matter of okay. me setting it up. I want to meet the dryads at some point again. Yeah, who knows? I like I I like the dryads. They were fun. A Pollock was also cool. The Lizard Man Chieftain. Yeah. I hope everyone enjoyed the session. I hope those that are listening in or watching like the session. As, uh, this is Mercer signing off. And may you, may you all have a good night. And let the calming cold guide your heart. Take care, everyone. Does it, anyone else have a thing to say? Good theater. Nope, good session. Yep. Um. See you next time.